Hi. Howdy. Good evening. Corb's here with another Diablo RP stream. As George Hughes. Everyone's had a nice weekend. And to all the mothers out there, out there, hope you've had a nice Mother's Day. I am not a mother, so I have not had a nice day. <laughs> well, it's, we have a, uh, we have law meetings tonight for the West and the East jurisdictions. That is at uh, 7 o'clock. I'm getting on early to make sure I'm right as rain for it. Uh, maybe some food and water. Start the day with some orange juice. Uh, that, that. Oh, and the binoculars. Yeah, I've got to make sure I've got... So for the west side, Just I've just been helping just try to figure out uh, what sort of outfit... Which... Well, Good morning, Bran. The sheriff's got it locked down. Good morning. For everything except the coat. So I think I think I've got the wrong one. So we're just taking a look at options. So I think I need to go change to a different one. Let me where's his message? Let's take a look. What did he say? Which one are we going with? Who the hell's that? Uh ba 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 ba. Five. Coat five. I think this is twelve. Hello! Oh, who the hell's that? So I think... I think this is the one? Yes. Yeah, this is the one he'd like. I'm fairly sure. Am I wearing the right... Woodman? I'm not Woodman! You need to go to Blacksmith. Excuse me? Oh, George, I apologies. I keep calling you Woodman. Please, all right, just arrest me. Just, you wanna... Just, me the... you wanna... just shoot me in the head. I, I deserve it. George! Please don't shoot me. I keep calling him Woodman. He, I, he deserves to shoot me. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. He looks I like a Wood skinny Woodman. I think Woodman just wants to be him. He does. He does. This is true. In a sense. He inspires to be you. It's taken yeah. a long time, but I think finally I've rubbed off on him in the right way. <laughs> I mean, okay, if you want. Uh, the blacksmith is the one to land. Uh, where's the red rocket at? The hell's a red rocket? Excuse Dinger. me? Dinger. He's dressed in all red with his stupid hat. <laughs> Dinger! I don't know. He I wants to be it. us. I saw him before the storm in his red rocket outfit. It's, uh, yeah. So, all mind, red. You mind tell me what's with the hat? Oh, we're the posse patrol. And, and what is it you patrol? Posse. Posses. We uh, just patrol the posse. We are for good. We, You're um... not doing any uh, vigilantism, are you? N no, no, no. Uh, if you need bounty work, you let us know. We can help. Well, we don't need it. Well, I mean, when the jurisdiction uh, comes into place, you might need... Juris what? 
the when the towns get split into two. And obviously, if you can't cross the line, you will call Posse Patrol. We'll help. Wouldn't know a thing about it. Morning. Uh, we'll keep it that way, okay? Does my vest look okay? I mean... Duh. Is it supposed to be like Harkness? Was it... That's two different vests, I think. Was, 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 is mine strapped? No. It's the same color as Harkness, but just different. You have buttons. Oh my god, you guys look handsome together. Oh, thank you, ma'am. I'm just, I'm trying to follow received instructions from Sheriff. And what's Bowman. that? Oh, yeah. you're changing colors now, are we? Yeah. Oh. On account of the change of the jurisdictions. Like oh. That looks good. I like it. I think of. So you're looking like a bit like the Posse Patrol. The pickaxes can break, can't they? And then you'll repair them from there. Well, you'd have to have this come from Bowman, so I, I don't know if With there's the any inspiration I think Bowman from... wants to be the Posse Patrol. But you know what? The Posse Patrol wants to be Dotty, so... I think he wants to patrol up. something else. <laughs> oh, bitch. Hang on. I'll go match you guys. Yeah, oh. so if, you, if your pickaxe completely breaks, uh, you, we can just still repair this for you. So it's up to you. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll bring it I, think, I think I've got the right... I think this is the jacket he showed me. Yeah, good. How are you? I've got... Yeah, he said, yeah, you can wear whatever boots, hat, I've got the right, I think I've got the right belt, the right buckle, uh, I think, I think I've got it right, I think. Also, hello, Mrs. Phenom, hope you've had a great afternoon since we watched some more Fallout. And yo, Hammer, thank you, mate. Hope your raid goes well. I've got some things to do out of county, but, uh, you know, it was a good day, thanks for that. See, now we're matching. <laughs> All right, matching? Dottie, we'll Dottie right, and George what? take on the world. <laughs> what? Oh, I get the red trim what? is nice, what? but I, I don't know if we're matching. We're both a nice, lovely shade of red. I think I'm maroon, but like, you know, you win okay. some, you lose some. You got to be careful with how much red you wear. You don't want to be mistaken for one of them commies. Hey, I'm either the Colts. Posse Patrol, Dotty, or the Commies. Pick did, your poison. Did you say the cults? Yeah. Like a cult? What time I mean, is the funeral? The cult brothers. I miss Oh, them. the cult brothers. I thought you were talking about a cult. I mean, what? I haven't heard nothing about a cult. <laughs> There's a cult. Be careful. A cult. Quick. A cult. A quick. Cult. Quick. Nah. Good. <laughs> There's a cult. There's a cult. I swear to God, last thing I want to see, it's a goddamn cult. I mean, Is it look at the like posse patrol, I guess. You ever go along to a cult party? You BYO your own drink. All what right? Kind of oh, <laughs> Are no. you speaking from experience? I... Oh, no. You look, did not. I'm not proud of my younger years. But you just got to be careful. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, you know, I don't like... I don't like a dead party. With no music and that like the like the next man, but when they take it too One, far, two. literally, it's a little concerning. I like to be at a party with a heartbeat, just saying. Oh, not a hot chick. <laughs> no, they were dead. <laughs> oh, they all died. No. <laughs> they all died. Even the they put chick? they put something in the drink. I... They all fucking died. Hey, you live to tell the story. That's right, because like, you, you don't... You gotta be careful. BYO in your drinks, folks. BYOD. Beyond, yes. Beyond for sure. Beyond. 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 Who is that? Beyond or... Well, he doesn't know Bygone. 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 I don't know. I don't think that person's very good at using doors. Hey, we, we all have our flaws. <laughs> <laughs> but who we got here? I don't. Speak for yourself. I'm perfect in every way. What's this Shuba, is it? God. This, yeah, that's Shuba. It's definitely Shuba. Okay. Oh. Shuba just... God. I didn't even realize Shuba was So who's everybody in this pussy patrol? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. We are pussy. Pussy. Are you swearing? 
Uh, passing patrol. That's that. the one. Why'd you hear? Uh, oh, that poor horsey. I'm, I'm a Lexi. Oh, did I call you Shuba? Who's yeah. Shuba? I don't oh, know wait. anymore. Is Shuba around or are you calling me Shuba? Yeah, the doctor man. Hey, How do you call him Shuba? Who's everybody in this patrol? Uh, we, well, I'm Alexi. This is uh, Terence and uh, Summers. Summers, right? Ah. Uh. Terence. Howdy. Howdy. This is my best friend, George. Sorry, what was your name again? Dotty. Oh, Dotty. Wow. I've been insulted. Sorry, I'm just still so shook up from all these funerals I've been hearing about that I wasn't it's gonna able be to go. You in a second. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> For legal reasons, let, it's a joke. Can you let me write my will first? Yeah, can you hand everything over to Dottie Goldsworth? Thank you very much. Dottie Go Goldsworth. Go Goldsworth, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Everything's... Look, I'll, I'll consider, yep. ma'am. You consider it? Why no. don't you just do it? Why do you have to think about it? <laughs> Why does man have to think about things? I've got. Right. Um, I'm just walking Speaking up. Of thinking of things. I got means. <laughs> I got work to do. I'm you tired. Got beans. My back hurts. Beans. That's what Please. happens when you're a sheriff. Uh, yeah. They fucking should run I, you into the ground. Why do you be a free the, bird? Uh, like Dotty. I'll send it to you. Dotty. 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 Y'all, any uh, any of you got any uh, crime to report? Um, the crime is being so fun. What? <laughs> yeah, that's my crime. Being so fun. I'm gonna need you to specify these criminal activities you've been partaking um, in, ma'am. Got a fat uh, yes. ass. We've got um, <laughs> we've got a uh, lawman dinger. He's committing a crime to my eyes, wearing offensive red, full red suit. Where is he? Uh, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't seen him in a while. But if you see him, be sure to arrest so I'll, him. I'll see him coming, is what you're saying. Then <laughs> happeth, hucketh. What, Harkness? Who in the fucking Jesus Christ is that? Is that squid? So, hello? Hello? No, I don't know. That's maybe. Where, where, where? Uh... I think that was, that was Harkness now, wasn't it? I don't know who that is. Hey, you going, Jack? Yeah, I might uh, open up the veggie. I might get a veggie cart going around. So oh my god, fire. I can't wait. I'm just gonna sell vegetables. Gonna make it skinny. Oh my god, others. put it away, Harkness. Okay. Gonna need you to put that long arm off your back. Is that Mr. a long Taylor? arm? It is off my back. Hold up. Is yeah, that a long arm in your pants or are you just happy to see me? What? <laughs> <laughs> is it gone now? It's hard it's being a fucking Better be. comedian. That's all good. Terrence. Yes. Hello. <gasps> Is that orange juice? I'm gonna go see. Say, Mr. Taylor, you won't happen to have any uh, tobacco on you, will you? Uh, <laughs> a look. I could really just go some tobacco, you know what I'm saying? I actually don't have any tobacco on me. Oh, well, oh, next time, you. next time you've got some spare. If you could please Stra strawberry share honey. some with me. That would be very nice of you. What are you eating? I appreciate it. What are you eating? Uh, I'll make sure to remember that, alright? Thank you, Squid. And this is... It's a new kind of chocolate. It's a cat cat. A cat cat? <laughs> oh, very nice. Yeah. A cat cat. <laughs> what a dumb right. name for a chocolate. A cat cat. Yeah, I feel like it could be better. But... Oh. What about... Kit cat? Ooh, that one. I like that one. Kit, yeah, kit? Like, like kitten, kitten? No, kit, cat. Like a kitten and a cat. That's a lot of letters to remember. You I said kit, cat. cat. Yeah, that's just three letters, though. Yeah, that's... So it's kit. Why don't we just call it chocolate? Oh my god, you're so nah. right. Nah. Plain and simple. Squiz is a beautiful chocolate man. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Damn. 
So, how's the weather? Who's that new friend over there? Hello. This one. Who, Who art thou? My name's Jeremundi. I'm Dotty. Dotty. Jeremundi. Dotty. Jeremundi. I heard Bear Mundy. I thought it was Bear Mundy. But like at least fish? I remember. I feel like I've forgotten to do something. Oh, perfect. I'm Alexi. My Russian friend. Nah. Man, oh my god, right. he's even got a red horse. Wow, your horse is so he really nice, wants it, doesn't he? You really like your job, don't you, George? Oh, yeah? You gotta love what you do. Yeah, I love what I do. Speaking of what you love to do, we will have to do this one. <laughs> what? I don't think you'd like to like to do what I do. <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> knowing you, I would. <laughs> if he involves cow. <laughs> <laughs> I love cow, don't you worry. Oh, I know you love cow. <laughs> Take a look around the town, see if there's any trouble. Anyone else around? I feel like I've forgotten to do something. I think I have all my uniform set as best I can until I see Sheriff Bowman. That's Jack. <laughs> What's the word, Jack? That's not much that you got on. How are you? I'm alright. I'm just trying to... What? What's this? Parsi Patrol. What are they about? Uh, I'm not too sure. Just a group of friends, I think, who like rolling with each other. They're not. They don't take the law into their own hands, do they? Not that I've seen. Okay, that's just what I was trying to see if I could get any detect. Uh, they seem yeah. innocent enough, I say. Yeah, not too bad. Now you're coming to the West meeting? Ah, uh, yes. Seven o'clock, right? Uh, yes, it is. I forgot. Just over now. You, what do you reckon? Is there any 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 way you've been wanting to patrol? Uh, I don't know, wherever at the moment. I think Wyatt's around at the moment. Wyatt? Yeah, I think I last saw him at Rhodes. You reckon he's down there? It might be down there. Well, hell, we got a bit of time, and golly, well soon. I don't know how often we'll be going to roll to St. Denis and Ansberg, so may That's as well. True. Gotta go see the old egghead. Oh, your horse is a nice colour. Wait, is, would you describe it more as red? It looks red. Why well, is for then. brown? I think this is the closest an Arabian can get to brown. Yeah, I think it is. Well, it's fine. I don't... That looks nice. Yeah! Happy coincidence that Bowman wants to be going with red vests and stuff, so... Yeah. It's a happy little coincidence. <laughs> How you been anyway? Any, any, huh. any crazy stories from last week? Uh, just bad dog as usual. 
I can't even remember. I'm not even 100% sure if I've actually met this mad dog in person. Ah, uh, I used to be called Tommy Henry. Tommy? Just don't... I can't remember. What's uh, he look uh, like? Black Mafia. Ah, uh, he was fat with a big beard. Now he's skinny. What? See, I, I don't know if I've ever actually crossed paths with him. Oh, uh, you may have, but not like he looks now. So what's, what's he? Well, he causing trouble, is he? Oh, yeah, he's upset at us. <laughs> Why he's, is he upset at us? Oh, uh, his dad tried to kill him. And that's... That was Dome? Yes. <laughs> oh, God. Now he's got some vengeance thing, so he's going after the sheriff's over there. <laughs> so he's... He's avenging his father. But that tried to kill him. Uh, he's vengeing his father because his father killed him. There, he wants to kill us because I have no idea. Sounds like he's just digging for a reason. There he is. So Chase, thank you for the follow. Howdy, partner! Howdy, partner! Woo! I'm all right. I was lucky. <laughs> I'm going all right. I'm all saddled up for a night of law department stuff. I, I, I just feel like I've forgotten to do something, though. Do you know why it's a deputy marshal now? What? Yeah, apparently got promoted. For doing what? No idea. Smiler just gave him the badge. They just give him out. Have you been? Oh, just... Yeah, I've been fine. Just... Busy putting up... Helping build bonds and stuff. Oh, yeah. So, no, Marcus has been looking for me. Well, I keep hearing about him. Being around. It's around apparently. It's a couple of people. I know Walter seen him. He was looking for me. And Bowman, I think he's looking for you as well. Oh yeah, no, that's alright. Bowman, I'll, I'll see him tonight. At the meeting. I don't know if Marcus is around tonight. Yeah, it would be great to see him again. Can you hear a train, or is that just my horse breathing loudly? This is your horse. What up? Uh, yeah, good. It's what? Nah. Yeah. yeah, keeping us up busy. Oh, that's all right. Just relieving some stress here, smoking some that's cigarettes. Good. Will you be safe now, there, Sheriff? You need any holy mail? Um. I've only got three bottles left. Otherwise, I, I can't make any more, so... That's a shame. Yeah, it's quite a shame. How it is. My brother. What is it? It's holy milk. Holy? What makes it holy? 
Well, we, uh, we had to do it. Cows, friend. Yeah. That's what water so grab it. And it mixes with their with their udders, and then it comes out with sacred milk. Sacred milk. Holy, holy. Well, look. That's I hope you right. can get that back on tray. That sounds like an interesting drink. Well, it is. <laughs> Hello, Game George Train. People. Thanks for the raid, mate. Dude, how is the rest? How is the rest of New Vegas, man? I you were doing DLC, right? I haven't done any of the DLC in that. What's the hell, QQ? How you going, mate? He's got holes in it. Ames, you son of a bitch! What's going on, George? Oh, uh, you know, just on patrol, doing the job. How's the desk? Uh, yeah, it's been pretty quiet, I guess, all things considered. I bet. Nice and relaxing for you. Well, I can more, dude, but, you know. You're making me want to play New Vegas again, Callum, and do a proper playthrough where I take my time. Oh. How did you become a deputy marshal anyway? Well, Smiley kind of just uh, pushed a badge across the desk at me, and he just winked at me, and I'm just like, oh, okay, uh, nice to see you too. Yes, that is a marshal badge. And he didn't say anything. I'm like, you, you left your badge there, Smiley. And then he berated me and he said, I'm trying to offer you a job. And then I kind of said, well, you see here, Smiley, is that most people kind of have a conversation with someone when they offer them a job. They don't just, like, you know, slide things across the desk and wink at them. And this is why his wife gets annoyed. Because he just winks at people all the time and people get the wrong idea. Oh, dear. But, Smiley, uh... Well, he wanted me to help out a bit, so uh, I agreed, because it goes back and forth between York a lot, so I'll be able to liaise for him quite a bit now that he's doing governor stuff. I he's a um, governor? Oh, yeah, something like that. Well, we wouldn't want anyone getting buried under a pile of paperwork now. That'd be very dangerous work. That'd be quite funny, because, you know, he kind of deserves it. He's been riding it this longer than I can think. But, uh, yeah, allegedly I'm getting myself an office in black. Apparently, I don't know yeah, if that's true or not. I think it might just be a vicious rumor, but... Slap well, aim. two taps as well on New York, Smiley. It's so, it's white. very oh. tempting, Two Callum. taps, one hot, one cold, apparently. Very oh, tempting. Tap. You done feel... What? That's what Jesse told me. Huh. Oh, we, we're definitely not staying at the same premises, because I still use, like, you know, anyway. Yeah, that's interesting. So where are your boys uh, getting stationed now? Uh, west. Yeah. We think of it. Talk to Bane where we're exactly stationed. We got a meeting in 57 minutes. Are that out of Blackwater? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Fantastic. Yeah. I'll probably multi on down there with you at some You know, and then go and see the other... The other sheriffs. Oh, I want to, Decent. I, I want to. Uh, yes. Don't get me wrong, I you know, want you know, to. Blackwater's probably a smarter idea to be stationary. But I want to. I'm seeing Valentine is... But I want to. Valentine. That is not a, not a fun place to be. Oh, That's shit. not too bad. Hang on, I need to get my badge. I fucking forgot on the desk. Give me a second. Jesus Christ. No, wait, I've locked the door. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Howdy, Donkey. How you going, mate? Donkey, we got to find a night this week, and you're going to show me this Skyrim co-op. Is that your prison wagon over there? Ames? I think that's his. Yeah, that's mine. Sorry, I was trying so to... Sorry, I wanted before. Out. You're right. I'm out of matches, I've just realised. I was going to have a cigarette, but no, apparently no matches. Can't have that. I'd give you one, but I've only got just enough yeah. for myself. 
And I think the, you know, the farmer's market down in Blackwater, I'm pretty sure it has them, definitely has them. Well, you, one batch. Are you coming to the Blackwater meeting? Yeah, I'll probably end up at both, to be honest, so... Well, we could mosey on over to Blackwater now. Yeah! Be ready for oh, it and shit. find some matches. Yeah, it sounds like good. Give me a second. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Have to get on while it moves anyway. <laughs> He's got to turn it. <laughs> oh, fuck, sitting here. Howdy. That's a jab. Jeff, how are you? Mighty fine looking stallion you got there, sir. You good to go, George? Yeah, I'll, I'll match your speed. Oh, Would you I'm like cigarettes, sir? I'll happily shout for this. Oh. Well, I'm all good, thank you, though. Weapons off in town. Hey, Rando. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> yeah, some of the guys here in Rhodes were talking about. All right, let's How they're nearly out of holy milk. And then Game Train kindly raided over. He and QQ were joking about Woodman's mum. Yeah, deputies need to learn what hints are too. <laughs> yeah, last night, back, there was a bank robbery last night where they took one of us. They walked in, so technically they weren't a hostage. They weren't kidnapped. One of our deputies walked into, into a the, bank. walked into a bank and got taken hostage. Yes. I tried to explain that's technically not kidnapping. No, it's not, that, and, but it's just fucking stupidity. Yeah, they didn't see him in and they walked in. Oh, for goodness And they told us to put our guns away. So guns put at me, so I walked in and so had that gun at my head, so I had to walk in. I knew it was going to happen, so I told everyone to leave, so I knew who they were. Yeah. They did get the hint about leaving, they all got shot. Well, all the deputies, or...? All the deputies. And then they took us to the banner and shot us. Oh, fantastic. Good old bad dog. How you doing back there, George? I'm fine! Yeah, he's, got a mouthful of shit. he's got a mouthful of cheese, ain't he? Chocolate, I think. There's cat he's cat! A, a what what? Cat cat! You're cat, eating cat. a cat. It's a new cat of chocolate! I thought he said cat. It sounds like he's eating cat. Cat cat! Yeah, cat, this is why cat. the name needs to change. It's People don't understand it's a chocolate. Is he calling you? He's, is he calling you a cat? I think he said Cat Jack. Jeez. Cat, cat, I think he said. Cat, cat, okay. <laughs> cat Still Jack. Is that, is that something you had down in Guama, George? No! Sounds like something in Guama. There's just bananas over there! Well, I yeah, know you went bananas. bananas in there, you didn't know who you were. Despite face eating monkeys. Ugh. Hey, uh, let's go by Valentine. We'll just do a quick sweep through there, then keep heading to. I gotta pick something up from the bank. And then... Aye, aye, sir! Well, you, you can't be so. Fuck you. <laughs> Smart ass piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, laugh it up. Just because I have to wear gloves now. It's bullshit. Probably not gonna wear for too long. They're gonna get yeah, dusty. I don't see it. But... Doesn't matter. Yeah, well. As long as it doesn't affect my shooting, I don't really mind. A woodman's mum arc would be great, Randy. Hey, you, how them uh, transfers been going, George? The what? Your transfers with the weapons and such. You know, your, your equipment transfers to the, the, the smelting. We had a few. <coughs> we had a few in a row that were too easy. But then the last one, there was a gang waiting for us. Naturally. So next time we're going down yeah, with boy, more so. numbers, send people in in advance, maybe ask for a, a armored wagon. 
Yeah, he might need Good a... Good old gun. Yeah. Might need some riders to go and set up like a, you know, yeah. Yeah, might go send a group... Go ahead and make sure it's clear before you come up. Yeah, send a group out like 30 minutes prior just to, you know, be patrolling Tumbleweed till we get there. Shit, people gonna think that, uh, you know, they pissed you off if you're doing that. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna see this. I'm gonna see Mr. Wolf again. It's been some time. Where no, is he? See Have you seen Jack? Nope, he's been looking for me. He's been looking for you. <laughs> that, that sounds ominous, doesn't it? He wants to talk to me about something. <clears throat> Probably wants to talk about the fact that you're wearing a hat, making it look like him. Ah, his hat's different than his. Yeah, that's bad. It's been so long, I can't remember exactly what he looked like. I can. No, you may not remember what he looks like, but you're you, you you sure him. gonna remember that voice, George. Yep. As long as he doesn't make a stand by a wall. I'm gonna yell at you for getting caught and going down to Guama. I, <laughs> I didn't ask to be on a boat in the middle of the ocean that crashed and get marooned on an island, Wyatt. Well, you know what? <laughs> you know what, George? I think you've only put yourself to blame for that one. <laughs> the sheriffs have never been to Guam. Wait, what? The oh, deputies, been there. deputies haven't been there? Uh, yes and no. Technically oh. no, like you were technically in Mexico. Yeah. Well, no, I was in Mexico. We just don't talk about it. It's a difference. That's right. Yeah, we were there, but we don't talk about it. They made us sing the bastards. Mexico, the, the Guamese major Yeah, the, the, the commando. Damn him to hell. Made you sing for your supper or what? Like, no, I just made us sing. I was going to shoot all of us, chuck oh. us in a hole, I think. Oh, that's a little bit sarcastic. Okay. No, we, black, we said we're black and white. Right? Pole. Where's he going? Why? You need to chuck a leg or something? I think he's grabbing his dog or something. He's it's grabbing something his apparently. Dog. Oh, he's grabbing something. Oh, mm -hmm. nom nom. Well, the jerky makes your hydration go down. I had a good chase yesterday of someone. Did you get him? Felt sorry from my road into a fence. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me one time we were chasing someone and saying, I think you were there. That fellow in Saint Denis, he rode the wagon into the back oh, of the yeah, Saint Denis. <laughs> a lot of people do that. Yeah, this guy uh, rode into a fence, so I gave a bit more chase for him. Then he almost drowned in the river. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh. I had to get Corbin out. He's been lodging. Who? Since I've been up in New York. He needs a good walk. Go on, Corbin, let's go. For fuck's sake. Hello, Gazozo. How are you? Oh, I love that dog. Very loyal dog. Not didn't know it. Yeah, he's got a yeah, dog called can. Corbin. Motherfucker. The best friend a man can have. Go on, Corbin. <laughs> For fuck's sake. There we go. Fucking aims. Yeah, we had a bunch of people rob the bark I loaded last night. <laughs> So silly. They did. They did what? They tried to rob the art gallery. You got an art gallery now? Yeah, apparently we do in St. Denise. Oh. Come on, Corbin, you lag behind. My goodness. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> Oh, what a majestic dog. That's right, boy. You doing good? I'd almost say this is one of the best dogs I've ever seen in my life. Oh, look, it's majestic. You know, he's majestic fur. It almost looks like a beard. It's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Need to trim every now and then, otherwise it kind of looks a bit uh, wildly. Like but, you? Uh, well, yeah. 
actually a bit worse. The beard just, you know, sticks out everywhere and the hair is just all oh, unruly. But... Oh, he's, he's well groomed. Gotta give him a haircut every now and then. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Likes oh. chicken. I found that out. He likes chicken. Yeah, chicken's I, I pretty great. Cook chicken. I mean, he'll, he, he'll run down a, uh, a live chicken and, you know. <laughs> Yeah, no, that I was think a, anyone that was can get him, Zozo. Oh, Mr. Stockton was not happy that day with Corbin, I'll tell you that much. Damn, now you're making me want to... Is that Frank Stockton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah he lives in Guama now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing down there, I remember well. Oh, I went over there once and have a chat to him about something. I love burritos. Yeah, they growing love drugs them. there. <laughs> oh, right, okay. That's, Apparently that's... it was just tobacco, according to him. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah, in the, in the, in the, you know. Where well, they got face eating monkeys and some other Earth crap. revolves around the moon in my ass. And just tobacco. Really? You can't drive around it. How incompetent are you driving a wagon? Okay, I'll just walk go up Go around! Here and apparently you're oh. going to be able to do that. Oh, he, uh, well, he, he did more than just go around. Oh, come on! Hey, this, <laughs> look at this! Commit! Yeah. How much room do you need? Commit! <laughs> Fucking Valentine. Hey, George, you sound like my... Uh, hey, you sound like one of my ex-girlfriends, eh? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, all right. I've got it's taller free. as well. What's good? Yeah, hey, the witch doctor did a number on you. Yes, yeah, she did. Ah! Oh, George! I think Corbin likes you. Yeah, I think he does. Oh, yeah. Good boy, Corbin. <laughs> Corbin, speak. Cor Corbin. Go on, speak. Hang on. Aren't you... Oh, Zozo. No. Keen. Don't get charming now. In front of Keen. The I've only got one Don't warrior costume left, Rando. That one I wore at the slumber party, I had to throw out because it was covered in food. Corbin, speak. For or, no deputy. Or not. Mine just took a little bit a slightly sheriff. longer than usual, Callan. Yeah, slightly was, longer than stopped. usual, but it was all right. I think it had to do an update today. Oh, they came back looking for, um... Brittany. Corbin, speak. Oh, you don't want to hear the song again? <laughs> huh. In Diablo, I paid a bitch never ends. Usually talks on command. <laughs> oh, the nuggets are still around. What I still believe the their prospect is putting the gold out to pasture so I can run around free. That's quite strange. Later on, Zozo, you could get permission to turn, turn her into a cat. All right, well... Uh... As, so as, if she, as, as if she's sending a cat out oh, to do her bidding. I think he's... Well, he wasn't in New York when I was there, so... Although it is a big city, so... Yeah, uh, shall we, uh, Matt, shall we continue down to Blackwater? Yeah. yeah as well. Apparently we'll get new badges soon. Oh. Because if Blackwater is anything like my last trip down there, we could be delayed. What is that? Hey, uh, last time I rode into Blackwater, I, uh, was taken hostage by a pirate gang in a bank robbery. Yes, they, are. they did! Quite a lot! So, keep your wits about you. Look out for a bunch of silly-looking pirates. Favorite letter in the alphabet, I reckon. Don't get some boy. There we go. Come on, Corbin. Let's Smart go. Smart boy. <laughs> What's, it, what's her name again? Plunder Bunny. Should I ask for a number? <laughs> the only thing with Corbin is he does have a tendency of getting lost. Oh, hold on, I gotta get new horseshoes. All right. That's well, very good timing. I don't know, bearded Texan may be lurking. But I do not know. Uh, 
do, do, do. Oh, that's right. You gotta have. Fucking hell. I shouldn't have sent the horse away. Force of habit. Hello, sir. I would like to inquire about your horseshoes, please. Horses outside. Bruh. Got there in the end. <laughs> Herp and a derp. I need to brush the horse. George, is that you? Howdy, ma'am. It sure is. Come look at this real quick. Nothing sus. You're not going to rob me, are you? It's Wally, my dog. Oh, is that your dog? Oh, everybody's got a dog now. Hello, Wally. He's shy. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'll. I don't know if I'll pat him. I don't want to spook him. Oh, it's good a dog. Chocolate Labrador. What could go wrong? <laughs> Great dogs. It's <laughs> his first time out. He's gonna. He's gonna watch you back hunting in that, uh, is he? Probably gonna make a mess of it. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, we'll see. I'll train him well, and it'll be fine. I should probably look at getting a dog myself. I have enough trouble keeping up with all these horses dying. I still just got the one horse. I haven't ended him yet. <laughs> well, have fun. I just wanted to show you the dog. The less horse deaths you see, the better. <laughs> yeah, I do have a meeting to get to, but you stay safe, ma'am. Is that Gazozo? Alright, there's George. Let's do it. I think Corbin's wandered off into the woods. Oh uh, no. That's alright. He'll come back. He always does. I was just saying, everybody's getting dogs now. Just uh, that lady there, new to country, Zoe, she just got herself a dog called Wallet. That's a good dog name. I should probably get a dog. I think you'd have it to get yourself a good dog. What would you name it, George? I don't know. I, I just really miss the law dogs, sheriff and deputy. They were the best dogs. Yeah, a bit more obedient than Corbin, apparently. That just wanders off into the hills. I think he's chasing chickens again. He can't help me. He hadn't been trained as a law dog. Well, he's been trained, but apparently he didn't remember. Well, who trained him? Uh, I'm George, dude. Oh. Good habits. Yeah. 
guy gets lost all the time. Hey, just wanders off and gets distracted. Kind of like I'm doing, to be honest. You know what? This is... I've got no one to blame but myself for this, to be honest. Ah, it's turning out to be a fantastic day, though, gentlemen. I'll tell you that much. I'd see Ma uh, Marcus's face when he sees a uh, woman's a sheriff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Won't believe us. He's doing good though, Todd, Mr. Woodman. It's not. Nah, I agree. It's it's been really something to see. Mr. Woodman uh, has certainly been born again. To tell you the truth, gentlemen. Got rid of his bad influences, so it was good. Well, I think he kind of, you know, kind of, kind of got. I don't want to say he got the shit beaten out of him, but he did get, uh, he did get a few uh, lessons. Yeah, Roscoe him. beat the crap out of him. Yeah. Well, well he did try to hold up. He did hold up the sheriff's office for a hundred dollar fine. Yeah, he's done that a few times. Jumping on the roof, being a manis. His horse is still mayor, apparently. What a Valentine. Yeah. Oh, he's been saying that for months. This horse can have it. That place is a muddy heck hole. Now, all the payoffs are the people that can make a living there and, you know, call it home, but it's just too muddy. You know, at least dust, you can kind of like, you know, you know, kind of get the dust out and shake it out. Was the what mud there when they built it, or did the people bring the mud? I think... Uh, that's a good question, actually. Uh, don't go for the deep spot, the horses. Yeah, it's a cool one. Right. That one's the shell. Yeah, that's the shell spot. We hope. That'll be fine. Yeah, look at that. No. Uh, yeah, to be honest, I think the mud was already there, and then everyone moved in on top of it. So, to be honest, it's the mud's town. Oh dear. Come on, Daisy. Come on, Miss Mary Lou. Let's go. Come on, we got to get the black one now. Oh! Well, I could have ended badly. Yeah. I'm taking out my horses. And new day. Fantastic, gentlemen. This is great. New day for us and a new day for the departments. Plural. Oh, this can still go both sides for now until the changes come in. Yeah. Curious when uh, when that's going to be implemented. Oh, it's been no. delayed. That's what I was told. Talking to Mr. Gabriel. Well, a few days apparently. Well, I'll get everyone together and, uh... On the west side, we have we'll Bowman. Yeah, and get on the east, east side is Letty. Start up now. Then. When it becomes Unless we official, get back up at least silver. everyone knows what they're holding. Crap! Unless we get back up on the other side of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Look at that. Telegrams, apparently. Tommy Tim Tam might be coming back. Tommy Tim Tam? Yeah. yeah. Quite some time. Yes, yeah, same.
Morning, I know Bristol. a lot of people are going east because it's all close together. What was that? A lot of people are going east because it's all close together. Yeah, I can see the, I can see people want from the, you know, work out in the east, but you know, the west, look, it's countryside, this is just... No, it's nice countryside. It's nice countryside, you don't have to deal with St. Denis. Now, St. Denis is going to be difficult, not to crack, it always has been. There's you know, lots of people around, there's lots of places to hide, at least out here, it's, you can learn your city really quickly, so it's good Yeah, I know the streets in St. Denis. Where people go, but it's hard one. If you just put down the side, at least you pretty well lose people. At least you picked your office for this place if you get here. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's kind of what I kind of what I think because the governor will probably be working in Saint Denis, so you know the court. The courts are going to be working in you know in the courthouse. I think I'm supposed to be in there as well. So There's a that really oh, yeah. big desk in the middle, I kind of like, yeah, it should be yours. Uh, on that, I kind of feel like I should. Well, at least the marshals, because we can all share that, you know, because we're... It's pretty easy, it's plenty of room there. Have you seen the... you seen the officers, George? Nope. Oh, yeah. Come over and look at the courthouse. Courthouse is fantastic. Glad they, uh... Glad they, uh... Uh, <laughs> as long as there's no surprise oh, yeah. maintenance yeah, panda, we, uh, we should be right. Sheriff Bowman? Howdy, Witchy. Uh, no, it's uh, Harkness and George and uh, Mr. Howdy, man. Marshall White Ames. Ah. Hello. 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 Ma'am. How's it going? Doing pretty good. That's good. That's what yeah. I will. Bowman should be meet? around soon. Yeah, very soon. You're a recruit still, aren't you? Or your deputy. Yeah. yeah, I'm still a recruit. I haven't been through the training, uh, the, the final test yet. Okay. I'll been talk waiting to for Bowman. it. <laughs> I'll talk to Bowman about that tonight then. You might be able to put you through mm -hmm. it. Yep. Yeah. And I would like to work under That's the Western juris jurisdiction. Oh, yes. Excellent choice. Good That's good. That's a good area. Don't oh, mind me, look, just um. We'll get a... end up getting cold here if you end up, Apparently uh, there's some nice offices court, in so here. We're getting a little, a little cool. Oh, yeah. Man. I've seen this before. It's great. You need If you run into any yes, hurdles, which you feel free to let me know. I'll be to help out if I can. Seat. Exactly. Now, these are quite nice areas in here, to be honest. Oh. Oh, so, yeah. Allegedly, the lawyers are going to be in here, as well as some of the marshals. So I think we should be sharing the space. At least that's what I've been told might have changed. Oh. The wallpaper and the curtains and that? Oh, it's quite nice, nice wow. George. Yeah, it's quite nice. Do you head? Now, the office that I want is the one in the middle. Where did he go? Yeah, this is the one I'm writing to the governor that I'd like to work out. This is excessive. Yeah, exactly. You know, this this seems quite nice for the. I think all the marshals. And then we've got the um the courtroom right next to us. Yeah, the courtroom, George. Did you they can see the courtroom? My oh, goodness. Yeah, come have a look. Hold all our trials here. Oh, oh, this is this is nicer than the last one. Oh yeah, it's a bit more. Yeah. Civil, <laughs> to say the least. Oh, yeah? Fire. Gets people. There. Almost wanna... The judge has got a bit more of a com more comfortable uh, seat. Almost wanna really commit bit. crimes just to spend time in this beautiful room. Well, yeah, it's gonna be so. I think it's gonna get busy in here. Have a... Oh, I sit down, sadly. Might have to bring some people down to get them tried in the court, especially for some more of the egregious crimes and such that the Pinkertons find, so... Oh, I also want to volunteer myself for um for some work at the um Sisica. Oh yes. 
Hey, the new, I think the new warden's getting set up there as well. So oh, yes, that'd uh, be good to do. Yeah, it's going to be. Uh, yeah, I'd love to. There, so. I'd love to do some prison duties. And uh, I've seen the On plans for the new Pinkerton office in uh, Saint Denis as well. Looks quite nice. Oh yeah, I saw that. That's great. Oh, fancy. Oh yeah, you should watch this. Once it. All right, definitely didn't see your nipple there, Jack. Anyway, uh, <laughs> where was I? Yeah, Pinkerton office. Uh, it's uh, something to behold, George. It's uh, it's quite nice. So. Uh, yeah, when that, uh, I think they're in the final stages of getting that finished, so hopefully that'll be soon. Oh, look, howdy! I'm dead! Hey, Woodman. Oh, well. Is that you? Is that you, Woodman? I'm, I'm dead. Oh, no. It's been a while since I've seen you. How you been? Dead serious about serving the west side of county. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The best oh, side. You joined, yeah, you joined the right side. <laughs> I don't know, QQ. I think some people. Oh, I think some people in Sydney last year were there. asking if Callan and I were cousins or something. Yeah. Same thing happens. At, same thing happened this yeah, year. The they're man, like, the they're looking at Joel and the I, mayor. and they're like, "Are you two oh, like related?" And it's like, put posters up for the mayor. But who's fighting for it? The moment you got a beard, I think Arnold and Gold, and similar yeah, hair, it's like, are you related? Arnold, yes. No, no one else. In no other guys and, in the world. And Walt, the, uh, the have long brown hair sheriff. with a beard. Okay. Yes. Yep. No. Nah. Okay. You can put a post to say not disgrace, not a criminal. Uh, that's Just what I'm gonna. That, that's what I'm gonna do. You know, nay problems here. <laughs> you be quiet, Steve. Uh, I'll be right back. I just. Uh, <laughs> <of food. laughs> there you go, man. Thank you for no, oh, Okay. So is this? That's well. all the rooms. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's the, that's the building. That's the tour. All right. I should probably go have a bath. And I'll meet yeah. you at the department. Yeah, no problem. I'm going to the farmer's market. I gotta get some matches and more cigars. Howdy there, sir. Oh, if you if you if you don't mind waiting for me in the bath, I'll come down with you. I should probably get some more. Uh, you mean outside the bath, right? I'm not waiting in no, the bath. No, don't don't wait in the bath. Oh, it's, you said wait for me in the bath. I'm in there implying I'm in the bath. No, you, I'm not going in the bath with you, George. I don't want you in the bath. I don't even want you adjacent you to the bath. Why'd you ask? That's just... I, can you please? Sounded like you're asking me. Can you please wait for me to partake in a bath? Yeah, I can do that. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Ask Let's all get in the bath. Get in the bath. Please, George. Rumors going around again about this jade. Mask. You know where we have to have a bath in Guama? In the river? Yeah, or the ocean. Well, doesn't, that doesn't sound too bad, George, to be honest. <laughs> Bats in here, isn't it? I, I don't All right, know. hold me a minute. Story. Yeah, I'm down here. Let's see if they've got anything to <laughs> Bathing twins? There we go, guys. <laughs> All right, we got. Bath time. All right. Now I will look presentable for the meeting. Rub a dub dub, bearded man in the tub. Hey. Alright, I'm all clean, ready for the meeting. That was the fastest bath in history, George, but okay. Oh, you know, splash a bit of water in your face, ready to go. Uh, okay, if that's what you call classify as a bath, then uh, all the power to you. Literally, some days before work, I will just get up and I will just splash some water in my face. Enlargements. Well, run a comb right through my hair and I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> get it, George. Pardon? I just said enlargements. If that... Never mind. Enlarge what? Yeah, ne never mind. And 
Tools. I'll take ten buckets, please. Yum yums. Meat pie, fish balls, chola chili, saddleback bacon, frog leg stew, dark ale orange, apple lamb smoothie. Hargalotten. I am from Sweden. Places used to sell cigars. Have you heard the smashing single Hargalotten? From the debut album of acclaimed Swedish band In Flames? Wow. Where did he run off to? I don't think you can get the matches here anymore. Where did he run? James, where the hell do you buy the matches now? Yeah, I'm not sure. General store? Oh, uh, no. Some of the saloons have them. Maybe the doctor's office does. Do we have a doctor's office here still? Is that gone? No, that's gone. Mm. Not 100% sure. Yeah. Uh, well, I used to get them from the carpentry supplies here, but uh, I think the gentleman's gone out of business. Huh. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to get that out of my shoes. Howdy, sir. All righty. Is that your horse? Nope. Oh. <coughs> I haven't had a single crime alert. I just jinxed us. Nah, that's um, that's Ames. But Marcus is around apparently. Sorry, man. I'm sure, I'll bump into him sooner You're or later. Literally standing in the sidewalk, right in the middle of the thoroughfare. What do you expect? Any of this? Huh? Because he? My mind, George. Because he is around. What? Strange. Eh? Where the hell's this? Where can I buy the goods? Nah, I, don't, I, don't, I thought that. Not. Oh. Well, there hasn't there hasn't been a single crime alert since I've went live an hour and a, an hour ago. The bookstore. Oh, shoe store. Here we go. That's oh. nice. There's some very nice in here. Oh, hang on. Can we get to the... Oh, we can. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, hang on. Is this in... Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking, George. Where are we now? I have no idea. This is... Right, nice in here. It's got a... I know maybe a shipping office or something out of the transport office is. Got a nice little meeting area actually. That's nice. Bookkeeping. So that was an architect I and mean, bookkeeping in here. Oh, it's a bookstore! Yeah. You can you can write your own book in game. I'm pretty sure, and then you, every copy that's sold, you get a you get some money. Hey, I'm pretty sure. Quite cool. Like it. Like it, George. I like it a lot. 
Oh, you'll have plenty of time for reading at your desk. Yeah, well, fuck you. <laughs> I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Quite not. Okay, cool. That's good. Nice little. Oh. Do life is. You just cool. let yourself in. Is that allowed as a debut mouse? You just go. Hey, it's open. Yeah, but that's don't still make it right. No one's here. I'm doing a uh, security patrol, George. That's what it is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You need to know where people. You know, you need to know where. Ooh. How do you? What's this place? I'm hoping it's a hotel. Hello, Doby Dill. What's the K stand for? Um. Okay. I'm sitting there. <laughs> a, a, a classic metal name. <laughs> Safe. It store so much, so many things in here, George. Look at this. See, look at all these places someone could hide. You know. Interior decorators surely don't have a shortage of work. Must be my imagination. <laughs> Wally yeah. is arguably the best dog on the server. Town is really coming together now. I like it. have this great idea for when the sheriff arrives, okay? Mm -hmm. We all get dressed up. We all get dressed up in, in smart little martial outfits like Mr. AMC is wearing. It'll be hilarious. I wouldn't recommend <laughs> that. Hey, we'll get be like, why is there five marshals in here? <laughs> There'll be five marshals because they just hand out the marshal badges. Oh, yeah. do they? Yeah. Go get mine. Thank you, Mr. Hughes. Have you licked oh. the right boots? Uh... I don't know. Can my horse become no. a marshal now? I, then I'm afraid I not. Want my, I want my proper badge back. <laughs> I've still got the sheriff badge. Oh. I know who's first to uh, have to execute a search warrant uh, in the swamps. Eh? Yeah, George is first on the, the list to go, go to a search warrant. So, where's swamp. this swamp? Is that still Water Creek? Oh, for sure to know. Oh, Ty, that's yeah, not my jurisdiction, sir. Oh, but the sheriff will let you go if I ask him so <laughs> nicely. <laughs> oh, sheriff. George has been asking ever so much to go to the swamps. Who really wants to go there and... Uh, Why are you going to the swamps? Me being a jackass, because he's being a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Smart <laughs> fucking mouth on Mr. Hughes. I'll tell you what, now I remember why he used to always get into trouble. He got in trouble. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Oh, we all know what you're, I'm talking about, George. Uh, so how long do you think this meeting will take? Because we've got Miss Brittany's funeral at eight. Probably fifty-nine minutes and fifty seconds. Oh, god damn it! Where's Wolfie, by the way? Can I call him Wolfie now? I I probably wouldn't. The hell's a Wolfie? Oh, you know, 
uh, you know, Mr. Wolf, but we're just calling Wolfie, you know, it's more casual. But hey, Wolfie. You know what? Hmm? You should do that. Tell me how it goes. Okay. At least he, he can't arrest me anymore. Yeah, well, that's fair. So, uh... So, are we now at war with the other sheriffs? No, Woodman. Everyone's still going to be working together. Okay. Where did you get that idea from? Oh, they east and we're west. It's a turf war. Um, I don't think it works like that with the Sheriff's Department, Woodman. Okay. Yeah, even though there's two departments and there's two jurisdictions, <laughs> there'll be times where everyone still has to work together. That'd be not still. That that would actually but, be, you know, at the same time. Hectic. Who do, knows? Do, do you think Somebody... Bowman's going to give us West perks? It's his department. I don't know what the hell he's giving you. What kind What's of perk would you want? Uh, I don't fucking make those decisions. He makes those decisions. What? That's up to him. Free milk or what? What would you, What do you want? That's a pretty good one to start with. Speaking oh. of speaking, I've still got some milk in my my cart. It's six months old, but it's still be okay. Oh my god! No! No! <laughs> oh no! You killed her! Uh, I haven't even gotten the milk out yet. That milk must be very chunky. Oh! Uh, like a slushy, yummy. That ain't milk anymore. Yeah, it's like poppy poppy milk. Oh! oh fuck no! <laughs> oh! No. Instead of poppy poppy orange juice, it's poppy poppy milk. Oh! <laughs> I'm dying. I can't. You haven't even had the milk yet. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I oh, maybe I, I like should milk. Maybe, milk. Good for the I think I like... a few bottles out for Mr. Bowman. I think I would like my insides to remain inside, please. You don't want your insides pulpy pulpy? <laughs> Not. <laughs> pulpy pulpy organs. Oh, I like this idea of the jurisdictions, though. It makes it easy to keep track of people. It will be easier since we don't have a lot. Like, we don't have to spread out across the whole county with one group. It can be a long ride. Sure can. My God, the rides. Yeah, that, that, that's true. I'm, I'm, I'm going to miss the uh, 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 hanging out with the other sheriff, so... Who's over Ooh. there? Uh, Dinger and and Lovegood and and Miss Miss Letty and Miss Tessa and uh. Oh. Uh, yeah, I was really. Uh, as there. long as long as Mac remains over there, I'm happy. Who? Oh? Okay. Maca. Uh, okay. Mac. Who the hell's Mac? It's a um, recruit. Last name Cheese. Yeah, it's one of the recruits. Um, I witnessed firsthand him performing basically police brutality. Oh my god. I reported it to Harkness. I got that one. Well, nothing to do with that fella. Jesus. I mean, I get it. You gotta be tough. You gotta, you gotta be tough. You've gotta freaking make sure people know you're not screwing around. But the way he went about it wasn't that nice. What what did he do if you don't mind me asking? Uh he forced who was it? It was you were there, Woodman. Remember? What people running around the tree, that was fine. No, I'm not talking about making them run around the tree. I'm talking about the way he was talking to them. Oh, okay. Belittling them. You gotta have some respect at the very least. I guess. But that's my two cents. You're looking awfully relaxed there, Ames. Yeah. 
Don't want to get those precious white gloves of yours dirty. <laughs> well, if I do, I can afford new ones. <laughs> you. Did you just drink a beer, Woodman? Uh, no. I swear that I just saw you drink a beer. No. No. Because that sounded like a beer bottle rather than a water bottle. Smile, Woodman. Oh, smile. Hello. Take your goddamn badge off when you do that shit, you idiot. Got oh, caught drinking on the job. What are you gonna say to yourself? Uh, say to myself, uh, job well done. I just got ten dollars. <laughs> ten dollars, you would have, huh? <laughs> That's right. Things are expensive. So I still got to put my my horse through school. Horse through school? Yeah, got to get my horse trained as well. Like my dog. Oh, you got a dog? Yeah, uh, got a border collie. His name's Corbin. It's a very loyal. I love border collies. Beast. Uh, it's good. It's an affinity for chickens for some reason. I'm not quite sure where it got that from. Okay. Allegedly, on jaws, it's like, oh, give Corb, you know, let me take Corbin under my wing. I'll teach Corbin. I'll train Corbin, and then uh, here we are. He's wandered off in the fucking woods. Oh gosh, uh, yeah. He'll come back. Hey, is Andrew gonna be here tonight? Ah, who knows? That old coop. Oh, three minutes to go. <coughs> So, if Mr. Bowman's not here in three minutes, I'll take over as a sheriff, okay? I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> that's one of the new county rules now. Why is there stuff in this cell? Leslie, thank you for the follow. Howdy, partner! Oh my god, I cannot wait for the goddamn doors to be fixed, by the way. What do you mean? The doors are perfect. What? What do you mean? What's wrong with the doors? The do locked. doors are just paying the fucking ass every time. Oh, I, what are you I have nothing but fun and joy with every door I come across in country. <laughs> what was dropped in here? Why do they Mark have to make the box so bank low? Bills? Wait, what? It's Bank bills in here. Mark, mark bank bills. Wait, those aren't illegal, are they? Yeah, they are. What? No, no, they're not. Marshall, there's mark bank yes, bills are. in the cell. We'll pick them up. But we can get them from from uh, from helping the boat man. Oh, yeah, still gets a lot. Yeah, I'll pick them up and pass them to you, Harkness. They're on me. Let's make you deal with them. Yeah, give the give them to Harkness. I ain't dealing with that. If need be, you can go to the Pinkertons. Uh, Ames, you spawned a man. Uh, 30. Yeah, I'm aware. Today. I can't get him a seat. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, sorry about that. No, you're right. Just, oh, we, we, just, we taking our clothes off? Is it just me, or did this man magically appear out of thin air? He appeared out of thin air. Okay, I'm not oh, going crazy. At the wrong time. He came Good. through the door, didn't you see? You must have blinked. Yeah, you must have blinked. Long blink. Ah, uh, yeah. Howdy. Must have. Hi. Oh, he got here on time. I guess I'm not the new sheriff then. <laughs> <laughs> What's that in the cell? Uh, uh it was free a money. Thank you. Oh. I gave it to Harkness to deal with. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Is this everybody, or are we still waiting on a couple of people? Um, well, well I know, not. um, I know Luther wants to be here, but I think mm -hmm. he's having a couple of issues getting into county. It's, okay. it's Wolfie coming? Marcus? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure, I haven't heard from him. Oh, Harkness, okay. have you heard anything? Nope. Okay. I'll give it a couple of seconds, or we'll, we'll give it a couple of minutes and see if, um... What's his name?
<laughs> hey, Ravens. A couple of minutes for who, sorry? <laughs> that would be ridiculous. What do, what do they do, sh sir? Ah, for Luther, sorry. Is he going to make it, or...? He should be. Um... Right, we'll give him a couple of minutes to see, what he, see if he comes in. It looks like everybody's got the right. I haven't told anyone the the uniform or like that. We're going to do a uniform, but it looks like everyone's got the right vest on so far. It's just we've got to change color. Oh, can I can I have pink vest? Got to be red, partner. Oh. Is oh, it, really? Is okay. this not red? Yeah, that's it. Oh, thank God. No, that's oh. black. Would you like me to go change it now, or? As I said, I'm trying to get in the door. <clears throat> Oh, oh, made it. Are you with us, Ames, are you? Uh, I'm everywhere now. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Somehow, Deputy Marshal. Yeah, yeah, Smiler was giving me out free badges the other day or something. Oh, alright. I'm working for Smiler now, so... Oh, beautiful. I'll be working for all of yous. Well, with. With. Oh, right. oh, can you go get me some food then if you're working for us? I bet you polish my boots and shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've visited me. everyone here so far. Um, howdy, everyone. Good to see everyone that they could make it. Um, so as you can probably see, um, I'm going to just change up our uniform on this side a little bit. Um, I believe Lady's doing the same on her side, just different identifying colours and whatnot in case we cross paths or something like that. We can identify who's who. Um, if you, you look at Mr. Hughes right here, perfect example of what it's going to look like. He looks like a waiter. Um, I believe it'll be a toss-up between that coat that you can pick from and uh, this one, this duster that I'm wearing as well. Um, I think I'd prefer the one that uh, George uh, Hughes yep. has got. Uh, yeah, we've, we're going to allow so I'll pick one as well, sir. choices. Okay. Oh, can I keep the one I'm wearing or not? Um, you know, actually, what one's that for you? Because I, I think um, females have different coats as well, don't yeah, they? Yeah, we have different ones and some of the stuff. Yeah. If you want to send me what uh, your coat is, um, you know, just the details on it, I'll um, put it in the <clears throat> my notes so that way any uh, new deputies coming through can pick up that uh, that order of coat. And then just a, a red version of the vest I'm wearing. Is that all I need to do? Yeah, I'll, I'll send it. I'll send everything through to you. That way, you know. Okay, um, sounds great. Hats, gum belts, boots, um, gloves, and accessories are all optional. It's just mainly going to be the uh, the shirt, uh, vest, tie, and pants that are all um, going to have us looking the same. I thought the pants would be option. <laughs> I mean, as long as they're black, really, and they're not looking genie shrink like that. But oh no, I meant just going no pants if we wanted to, you know. Here oh. it is. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, basically, uh, the only thing, I w there's a couple of things I just wanted to bring up. Um, not much is changing on, on this end apart from, um, a couple of ranks will be sort of changing up in terms of we won't be having certain ranks. Uh, I think there's only the one, but I'll tell you what. So I'm going to just have it as we'll have when they come from their Texas Ranger school. <clears throat> and they get allocated to us or over the lady wherever they go if they come to us they'll be starting as a deputy uh from there they'll move forward to a senior deputy um <clears throat> from then up around that um, i'll have positions being available for uh corporals um there's not going to be too many of them and i'm going to have one captain which i'll announce um probably in a week or so the captain's going to act as um oh, howdy Captain's going to act as sort of like an undersheriffy admin rule uh, where they can um, help me out and whatnot with um, doing bounties, bills, uh, hiring people on and whatnot. Um, but there'll only be one captain. I'm aiming for three corporals. Um, deputies and seniors can go as they want, but I'll be reviewing corporals and whatnot, making sure they're doing what's needed and, and whatnot. And if I feel like someone's, you know, 
going to do the job better and whatnot, it's, it will be sort of rotated out if you're sort of not cutting the mustard type thing. But I don't think we'll have issues or anything like that with you lot. Um, is there any, any questions or um, input on that that anybody has? Um, are you going to be doing a similar thing with the ties? Like each rank is like a different color tie? No. So what's going to be happening is each rank's going to get their own looking badge. Okay, fair enough. So ideally I want our side to sort of look uniform, look as one. You know, I don't want people to be able to identify us as higher ups or lower ups unless they're looking at badges or whatnot. But not only for that, just to show that, you know, on this side we are all one. We're all going to be heard as one. Um, I think it looks a bit more... Yeah, in, in a sense, intimidating when uh, you have a group of four sheriffs coming up looking, you know, the same and whatnot. Um, makes us look a bit more, um, I don't know, formal, I guess. Um, is there any other questions anybody had oh. on the terms of ranks? I've been told the split's delayed as well for a couple yeah. of days. Yeah, I know that one, yep. Oh, um, and I... Yep. Sorry. I, um, I need to be raised to deputy when I get the chance to have that... Um, so, that test. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I haven't actually been put on my deputy wage yet either. Uh, it's the same as recruit anyway, but it's fine. Oh. It's a different rank. Just different rank, yep. <laughs> um, so, yeah, in terms of the jurisdiction and whatnot, um, as you guys probably might know, we're on the west side, so we're looking after uh, Blackwater down to the lower Montana River that splits between um, New Austin. Um, we'll be going up through... Um, to Strawberry, Valentine, and we have Emwood Ranch under our jurisdiction. Where's going to be? Oh, what was that? Sorry? Um, <clears throat> so, if we uh, sort of, even though we're sort of not split up just as yet, um, <clears throat> what is it, formally? Um, I'd still sort of like to try and stick to our side, uh, make our presence known to people that we're there around here, make our faces known to the, the towns and city and different businesses and stuff that, you know, they're going to be dealing with you guys, um, try and form a relation there. Uh, we want them to be able to come to us for any dramas. You know, I really want to have a, a good sense of public relation with our side, make sure that we're sort of on the same page and nobody's, um, <clears throat> you know, sort of really not liking us. Um, I mean... Where lawmen people aren't going to like us if they're on the wrong side of the law. But I don't want the general public to think that they can't come and talk to us or that we're better than them and we don't have the time for them and, you know, we're not there to look out for the general safety of everybody. Um, if you are called over to Letty's side uh, due to numbers or whatnot, um, the identifying colour of us is obviously red. It'll make it easier for when we're over there, they can see what bodies we have. We're Crossing over to other body, uh, over to other jurisdictions, is going to be by sheriff's request. So, um, so to be sheriff or you know the under sheriff slash captain, if they want to request another body or something like that, if numbers are short on our side, they won't be doing any prosecuting, so they won't be actually like processing anybody. They will just be there to add as a number, an extra sort of body there to man a situation. Oh, you'd be doing duties such as you know in a bank take one into the street, uh, take a rooftop, just just helping set up the scene. You're not to uh, really actively do anything in their jurisdiction because, again, it's their jurisdiction, not ours. And likewise, if they come over... muscle, that's it. Exactly. And likewise, if they come over, I'd expect that you guys will be taking the majority of the, uh, the roles that need to be done and just using them as, you know, an extra person to cordon off an area or, um, you know, take some bystanders away keep the, the rest of them safe um <clears throat> with the rank terms of ranks again what i'm going to try and do is we're probably going to start off with two corporals uh, i'm going to allow some some time to bring in another one but my i want to have the corporals set up in um i want okay, so my two corporals i want one corporal to be in charge of um uh, valentine not in charge but the face of Valentine and Emwood Ranch, then, you know, anyone can look at that one person and go, that's where you're going to, that's who I can go to. I know this face, they're always around. I'll give them a deputy and stuff under that. They can sort of almost run that town sort of under my, 
my jurisdiction as well. And then the same for um, Strawberry and Blackwater. I'll have like another corporal there and then the captain and myself obviously look over the whole operations of everybody. But try and split it up so we always have a presence everywhere on our side and we're not all just bunched up down here in Blackwater or we're all up at Valentine. We've got sort of pockets everywhere that we can all always you know, duck off to and help each other out and whatnot. And we also, it just makes sense to see for the community to have a couple of faces that they know and learn to trust and whatnot. Um, I'll also be putting this out for anybody who wants to um, apply for it. It won't be in a special rank. Um, it'll be just sort of like a sub rank on your rank, regardless of what you are. Probably for senior deputies and upwards, I'm looking for like an internal affairs officer too who can uh, be helping with doing any any investigations on our side between, you know, if someone needs to have some time off or if their their sort of mental stability has gone down a bit and they need a bit of help or, you know, if someone has been, you know, I throw the book at someone because they've done absolutely horrible in their job or messed up, something like that, we can have someone in internal affairs to be able to do that, um, that investigations between everybody. So you can send me a telegram if anybody's interested in doing that. Um, apart from that, again, not much is going to change. Um, I'm still working on pays and waiting for a confirmation exactly on what our budget will be. And then I can adjust pays. Um, if pays do come in, they seem a bit light. Um, it'll only be for, you know, sort of a couple days up to a week, just so I can see how the budget's looking after a week's worth of everybody doing their jobs and whatnot and hopefully I can try and boost it up a bit more for you and get you a nice up and pay but there will also be bonuses and stuff like that that I'll try and hand out as much as we can and the uh, the captain as well that I elect will also be able to hand out bonuses and you know view the ledger and whatnot um, I don't think there's anything else apart from those little things that I've mentioned that are going to be changing too much um, but again <clears throat> I sort of wanted to hold this meeting because we are splitting off now into the Western jurisdiction and I don't want to be the one to just make all these changes. I'd like to sort of put it up to you guys to bring some stuff to me. Um, we can have a and talk about it. Um, one thing I did want to bring up, since everybody's sort of here on my side, I want to f see everyone's opinion on the uh, the long arm law around the Western jurisdiction. Does anyone have any opinions on it? Mm. Yeah. I'd say long arms off, long arms off except for bows. Keep it yeah. the same. <clears throat> so this long arm law has been out for quite a while now. Um, if we're giving people warning, if, if we want to stick, so the reason I brought it up is I didn't know whether anybody was feeling that they wanted to have absolutely no long arms in Blackwater, but allow one long arm over their shoulder in sort of Strawberry and Valentine due to their sort of out there nature whatnot they're sort of like hunting resourcing cities and what like towns and whatnot um as long as they had licenses oh, yeah. on them i um, guess it would depend on the weapon item on the what sorry the weapon or item so yeah like, it was a springfield with long scope uh, medium scope then yeah i would understand they're mm. there for hunting if it was pano with a medium scope then you know yeah so how does everybody feel maybe about an, a one long arm on in Valentine and Strawberry and Emerald Ranch, or do we want to keep it just as a strictly no long arms on in any town? I vote for the, the latter. Um, all right, what I'll do, can I just have a raise of hands for who wants to keep the absolutely no long arms on in town? So that's okay. So, what are you other guys proposing? I reckon the single long arm on the towns that are pretty, you know, yeah, by wildlife. What did I think about that one? So, again, I'll leave it up to well, we might have a think about it and readdress it, but it'd be as Luther said, it would only be sort of the style of rifle I would expect to be. Yeah, sort of hunting and whatnot on their their persons. I mean, they're hunting towns and whatnot. I don't if if they're hunting. I mean, I'm expecting them to be using sort of uh, like bolt action rifles or Springfields or something like that. 
they sh I wouldn't expect them to be really needing to walk around in town with a pump action shotgun or something like that. <clears throat> Just a su suggestion, it could be maybe like a rifle only thing, a repeaters or shotguns. Yeah, it could be something like that as well. Um, but I mean, if we're going to allow it, it's sort of we're allowing it because they're hunting towns. They're always going to have to have a hunting license on them, so it's just going to mean that if we're going to look at going down that way, it is. If they don't have their hunting license on, then sorry, you know, rules are rules. But also, if we start, if we keep this rule as no long arms on anywhere, in regardless of what town, um, if we're going to be giving people warnings and stuff, we need to be making sure that these warnings are noted down because all I'm seeing is people just going warning, 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 warning. And nobody's actually getting, you know, reprimanded for this this rule that's been out for so long. It's it's been out for a few months now, and I don't think I've seen anybody charged over it. Um, everyone just gives out warnings. Um, apart from that, yeah, has anybody got any um anything they want to bring to the table? See if we can change some things, or is everyone quite happy with the laws and? Uh, yeah, I've got one. Go for it. Uh, abuse of sheriffs. Mm hmm. The amount of times I walk past people, I'm like, fuck, I hear, fuck you, Sheriff, go fuck yourself, fuck off. It's not uh, nice, is it? No, no, it's not, Hughes, it's, it's not. Yeah, oh, right. How the tables are fucking turned. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey, I only called you a pussy once, Ames. Um, <laughs> yeah, and you let me fucking <laughs> Yeah, exactly, I learned my lesson, this is the thing, like, you know, uh, people are just right to, uh, you know, think they have this, uh, you know, right, to sit there and just shoot their mouth off at us constantly mm. with no repercussion at all because there is no final or, you know, thing we can punish them with for doing that. And what are you suggesting as a sort of punishment or reprimand for? Oh, you, you know, wouldn't, you know, warning and then, you know, if there was a fine or a thing in place that you could book them with, it would shut them up pretty quick. Hmm. So you're finding that everywhere you go, you're sort of getting slanderous terms put towards you and, and oh, whatnot? Every day. Um, okay, that's a, that's one to uh, think about. Uh, hey, let me pitch in here, if you don't mind, Yeah. That actually would fall under public disorderly conduct. Yeah, that's... you give them the order to start, that's also failing to obey a lawful order. Okay. It'd be depending on how they're doing it to them. I mean, if they're, like, sort of yelling across the street at you... And whatnot, then yeah, that is disorderly conduct and and whatnot. Um, I mean, if they cornered you around, it, it depends what type of person they are and how what type of person you are too. I mean, you, you might be uh thick-skinned and those type of things don't really get to you too much. But if they do, then I mean, you are a public officer and you're there to, to protect and serve, not to uh be degraded every single day of your shift. Yeah. Yeah. In the end of the day, harassment's not okay. Yeah, exactly. So I will not stand for it. A hundred percent. If you're um. <laughs> If you're getting slanderous terms repeatedly off, off one person, 100%, give them the warning or just, if, if they're a known offender for it, just give them that uh, disorderly conduct. Okay. <laughs> that guy's voice. Um, yeah, now, on terms of what anything that I've said, has anybody got any issues or any queries or any uh, things they, they, they want to bring forward, change differently? No, I'm just got a bit of food for thought as well on your mm. uh, on your what you mentioned with the rifle, Sam Bowman. Mm -hmm. If this helps with the the decision in any any way, shape, or form, uh, one you can limit it to to a rifle, but as well, in terms of you as a sheriff and also them as a civilian, that's going to incite them to want to have their licenses up to date and all in order, because yeah. that gives us within our right to then ask that individual for the appropriate licenses, not only for the weapon but for the hunt. Mm -hmm. Since that's the reason they have the right to have it on their back. Exactly. Um, that's the only reason I'm thinking in those outside towns. I mean, like, look, we're in the uh, turn of the century now, so I mean, times getting a little more civilized. We don't need to be walking around, you know, cities like Blackwater with uh, multiple rifles and shotguns on our back and whatnot. I mean, that's what the laws here for to, to protect and serve. They don't need to uh, be doing that in these times. But you know, Valentine and Strawberry, it's sort of like hunting towns. They're known for bringing back your game out there. They're all around wooded areas. So it might be something we can look at. But again, um, I'd like if I might look at it going like that. If there's anyone strongly disagrees, if they want to send me through a, um, a report on why they strongly disagree, I'm more than happy to look at it and still look at keeping the, the law the same way that it is now in town limits, no long arms on their backs. I mean, 
horses do have holsters as well. They could always put their holster, they could always holster their weapon on their horse as well. There's no need to have it on their back in town, but we can figure that out. Uh, the only reason I say keep the law the way it is, it mm. just it makes it a lot easier mm -hmm. just to keep things in check and yep. you won't run that risk of someone opening fire if there's a law, you're not allowed to carry your gun out. Mm -hmm. Well, you say that, but they still have a... a yeah, but you know what I mean. <laughs> it just completely reduces... It reduces the risk dramatically mm -hmm. if no long arms, period, in town. But that's my own two, two cents. Yeah, that's how it is. I, I'm sort of tending to, to agree with that one too. Um, I mean, it sucks to say... I don't want to sound like this type of guy, but being able to uh, check people for hunting licenses like that when they have weapons on their, uh, their back would be good for revenue, but we don't want to be known as revenue raisers either, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you've also got to be mindful of it, because, uh... Yeah. yeah. Pros and You need cons. that revenue to come in, otherwise you, you, you ain't getting paid. Otherwise you ain't get paid, yeah. So it's it's why I'm it's sort of looking at doing something the only like town, that. The only town that paid. I would agree with would be Strawberry, with the mm. ability to carry around a hunting rifle, because, yes, mm -hmm. I have... I have had occasions where wolves have chased me into the town and fact, mm -hmm. just... <laughs> Look, at the end of the day, if you want to do a trial, you know, you, at least you can say you can try it around. Mm -hmm. um, beautiful, yeah, I fair. think that's all I've really got for you guys. Um, is there any... Oh, so there's a couple of things, sorry, just with training and stuff and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> so... Yeah, you know, I guess in the next week or whatnot, but I'm going to start trying to uh, to train it in now. We'll try and get something happening now with, in terms of sending people off to Cisco, off to jail and whatnot, um, they are to be transported down here for processing if they're going to jail and um, shipped off from Blackwater off to Cisco um, because I believe Cisco is going to be sending their own boat over to our wharfs here and that's where yeah, they'll be loaded onto and sent off. So we might as well get in the habit now of bringing those prisoners down here to process if they're going to be sent off to Cisco for large charges. If it's just a little misdemeanor type thing or um, a minor felony or something like that, they can be charged you know, in the nearest town. But for any major felonies or anything like that upwards, um, they'll have to be brought down here for processing. If I may ask, hmm. um, are we allowed to volunteer to do prison duty? Uh, I mean, providing numbers are right, I don't see a... A drum with it. I mean, you might be getting paid by the the sheriff's department, but no. I just thought if they need an extra hand, I'm I'm happy to maybe mm. do a day or two there. Yeah, every now fine. and again. I'm sure a lot of people are willing to um do a bit of extra volunteer work over there and help out where they can. Um, that's fine as long as the uh the primary duties are fulfilled here, then I don't have a problem with it. Um, and in saying that, yeah, so you, I'd like to see the prisoners, um, if say you're up in Valentine and whatnot, um, if they're coming down here to Blackwater for processing to be sent off to Cisco, I'd like to see, uh, the, the, in, in use, the prison, the prison wagon, have them in back of the wagon because that's how we're probably going to be transporting them anyway. So we might do a couple of, uh, drills and whatnot of getting that wagon out, um, getting everyone, getting a feel of the reins of the wagon and we'll set up, um, some, some formation around the wagon and protecting it and make sure we're uh, guiding it down to, to Blackwater safely and not getting any drama and whatnot. And everyone knows their, their position and what they should be doing. I volunteer as wagon driver. If you're around, partner, you can 100% do that. I don't have a horse anymore. <laughs> oh, what right. Horse? Hey, did rabbit. Your horse, did all your, uh, did your <laughs> horse get a... Uh... Horse Armageddon. It says it died. <laughs> I'll see what I can do in my uh, personal budget. Might be able to get you something to get you on your feet again. Apart from that, yeah, nothing ex too much exciting is changing on my side. As I said, I'm more than happy to take on feedback. Um, but I feel the way that we're going to do it is just show presence around. And. Um, that, that should be fine. Um, I'm working on a couple of things between a route between roads and Valentine that we might be working with a couple of people with just to keep a supply line safe and whatnot, but I'll bring more of that to you when it comes. Um, Hughes, you're still doing the um, 
the transfers for the recycling, eh? Ah, uh, yes, sir. We might organise another one of them in the next coming days if you're free with a few of us. Um, I believe we're going to try and get some money to set aside to boost budgets on both sides of the jurisdiction. So we'll organise it with ladies. I wasn't sure if uh, recruits were allowed to tag along for those things. So. Oh, 100% they are. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't uh, sure. <laughs> That's why I didn't attend last time. Mr. Bowman, actually, uh, Mr. Hughes and I were discussing it the other day mm. about that, like, you know, with the whole, you know, split jurisdiction and stuff, mm -hmm. but we thought it'd be something kind of good that if uh, every time we do one of these wagons, we do a combined effort that half come from the east, half come from the west, we do it as a group together, and then uh, split the, uh, the bonds at the end of it, you know? We can 100% look at doing something like that. I believe I'll talk to, to Letty about that and see what happens. Um, yeah. Marsh. It's just sort of be a, a, a good group thing, a bonding yeah, yeah. thing for the two uh, areas, you know? Um, I believe the uh, evidence locker will be segregated to east and west, is that correct? Yes, correct, yes. Yeah, cool. So, I mean, they're going to have to come through here to get down there anyway. So it might be a, um, a good thing where we can uh, meet them at the border or whatnot and help them to come through with their wagon or whatnot. Yeah, whatever works best for... Both groups? Yeah. But I think uh, yeah, they're going to have to come an extra long way. So if we can meet them at the border and give them an escort through, whether we're doing ours the same night or whether we're just there for escort duty through our jurisdiction, uh, I believe they'd appreciate it regardless. Um, and in terms of sort of mingling with the other side and stuff too, me and Letty are going to try and organise a few things um, that we can um, <clears throat> get to see our, um, our comrades and whatnot, our fellow lawmen, and have a bit of fun instead of um, just looking at each other over the border and waving and just doing work. Well, that sounds good to me. I like waving over the borders. <laughs> work. But, cool. Uh, if no one's got anything else, then that's me done. Oh, just if I can borrow you after after this, sir, I just I got an important delivery for you. 100%. And if you could uh, give me the uh, piece of paper for the uniform... So I can go through and fix it up for myself. Yep, I'll yeah. give that That's to possible. everybody. Um, do I have any notes? Yeah, need what color or what is Hank? Yeah, I'll um, I'll get that for you. If you guys want to give me five with Hughes, and then I can get you those notes and stuff, and you can all get set up. Um, mm -hmm. Again, these jurisdictions aren't hard in the line at this present time, but I would like to treat them as they are. Um, get us prepped up for it. Um, bit of preparation never hurt anybody, and we'll that will get us sort of that extra time to get in the swing of things when it does become a final thing. Woodman, but, hold still. <laughs> thank you for everybody for attending uh, this afternoon or tonight. Um, I've actually got some as well. Go for it. Because we're going to be acting as two separate, essentially entities. We're going to be having some incentives as well coming in, a bit of friendly competition Beautiful. between the two. Jurisdiction. So if you have any ideas as well, please uh, forward them you know, to Bowman. He can forward to the master's office as well. Even having days where we can do uh, essentially events between the two jurisdictions, have a bit of fun. So. Mm. Yeah, we get a game and it should be should be sweet. Bill. Well, that's everything. Um, I will have a chat quickly with Hughes and then I'll come and get everyone's uniform thing sorted and we should be right to go out and do some duty and we might uh we're not going to patrol or something together uh we've got um, Miss Brittany's funerals on soon so I'm going to go attend that oh beautiful you're more than welcome to attend to that what time is it uh, that's at uh eight o'clock to 30, 30 minutes okay. from now 30 minutes where's that at uh Valentine. Uh, Valentine. okay cool <clears throat> what well, for those who are attending that they can more than welcome to hang uh go and hang out up there and well, not. I'll probably be sitting down here doing some paperwork and whatnot, so I can cover this area down here. Uh, Mr. Bowman, are you going to be around a bit more from now on as well? Yep. Okay, good. Ah, you're already seeing if you can slip into his shoes there, Woodman. <laughs> you're already trying uh, to It's like, oh, I, I, I don't know. A I, minute late, I'm taking over as sheriff. I, I think his, his shoes are too small for me. My feet are bigger. Size nine, partner. I'm 10. No. Yeah. Oh, he says he's a 10. Well, at least I can fit into yours. You just won't be able to fit into mine. 
Yeah. <laughs> I right don't up. want to take Woodman's shoes. He's probably still got tar in them from the time he went to the tar pits. But, you know. Hey. <laughs> oh, did I said that out loud. Sorry. Yeah, he just <laughs> monologue in the game. Uh, beautiful. Uh, Hughes, did you want to... Oh, I don't want to say it like this. Please don't take it the wrong way. Do you want to go out the back door and we'll have a chat out there? Or That was the best way you could put that, and that is a great way to <laughs> leave the yes, meeting. Yes, let's... Do, 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 do you often go to back door with the oh, show? Let's go out the back door and I will give you my package. Yep. Yeah. Try. Try not to have too much fun, boys. <laughs> These fucking doors. All right. Oh, we just got to head to the bank, so I've got the the money from the last successful run. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, it's been sitting in my bank account, collecting dust. Yo, Bronx. We'll see you guys sometime this week. Next, this I'll next week. I'll probably keep that aside, um, because like I'll, I'll take it off here, that way you don't have to worry about it. But I'll keep it aside because I believe the budget will be starting fresh depending on, uh, regardless of what's in the, the bank right now. Oh, well, should we just hold on to it here then? So it might be good to um, replenish our budget up when we uh, finish or even use it to set aside for bonuses and whatnot. Oh, it, well, this this definitely gets split. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'll, I'll hand it to you. I don't want to speak about it aloud because, yeah, yeah I don't know. The... I'll uh, organise with Letty to do a run over and give her a split of it. Yeah, yeah. Love to hear it, Brox. Mate, looking yeah, forward I'm looking to it. I'm sure you looking forward to it. would be fine with it. Um, I'm looking at... I'll wait till we get inside, make sure no one's around. Uh, looking at yourself and Hartness starting out as the uh, the corporals for the, the townships sort of role that I'm trying to implement in for you guys. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you'd probably appreciate Strawberry Blackwater side again. Yes, yeah. God, love love the area. <laughs> I know you were uh, sort of loving the area over there before you uh, had a little bit of a trip. Yeah, didn't love them gangs, but, but that's why mm -hmm. we're here. But at least there's, uh, we've got some numbers over here to try and help out with that. So and if, you know, I've got Hartness up in uh, Valentine and Emerald and you were down in uh, Strawberry and Blackwater. And then myself sort of going between you two, just making sure everything's all good. I'll give you a couple of, I'll give you a senior deputy and a couple of deputies between you, and you can sort of run them sort of how you like, give them the roles. I'm, I want to try and make it that, you know, if you're going to a bank robbery in your sort of town and you've got your members there, your, your sort of role knows what they're doing type mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Ideally, everybody in the department, in our jurisdiction knows exactly what they're doing, but you can have a bit more of a specialized input with your sort of group that you have there between your two towns. Sure, sounds good to me. And then I'll um I'll leave it up for review for a week and whatnot, and I'll be looking for an undershare. So, yeah, nudge nudge. We'll have a look how that goes. <laughs> I'll <laughs> I'll do my best, sir. No worries at all. All right, let me w make uh, this withdrawal. Be ready. Yeah. It's a lot. Well, am I gonna fall over or? Well, I don't know if it's a lot, but it's it's just about as much I saved over the last X amount of months. I should have bought my coat over for extra pockets to stuff it in. So, hello, Minty. How to pump? Uh, it is uh, it's a 262670. Brox, will you be coming to the west side? So, Valentine, Strawberry, Blackwater, or the east side, St. Denis, Rhodes, Ansburg? Do you know? 89. There you are, sir. That's the Jesus. that's the uh well, you know, the bonds went in automatically, mm -hmm. you know, but this is the amount that was given to us. I I gave out yep. the share to everyone that was involved that wanted it, and yep. then this is the excess. Careful. Careful. But of course, uh you probably heard that the last run we there was a gang waiting for us in Tumbleweed. Oh, I did hear about that. Um how did that go? Well, so I had Love Good and Woodman with me, and they were great. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we mm -hmm. rode we we rode we rode up, parked the wagon, and then we saw that there was a man waiting on the saloon, keeping watch, and he had like a mask on and a big hat. And mm -hmm. just as we were about to go and uh, you know ask him what what his deal was, another fella came up wearing a long coat and a and a metal helmet. He was very polite, mind you, 
And uh, he, he sounded like he was willing to listen to our order to move along. Mm -hmm. But then uh, he got really intrigued about why we had this armored wagon down here. So then we gave him a few more verbal warnings, you know, because he was polite. He was willing to have a chat. You know, like, you know, you got to get out of here. And then got to the point where I said, look, I'm going to have to make this official. I'm going to have to give you a warning shot. And then anything beyond that's out of my control, partner. Now, that kind of maybe shot us in the foot a little bit because I fired into the air, which I think the, the rest of his gang that were lying in wait thought that we shot him. So then oh. the fellow on the roof shot us. He pulls out his pistol. We drop him. And then uh, just, yeah, two other fellas came hot, jumping out from behind walls and whatnot and uh, got us and made off with the wagon, which uh, had a, a number of rifles and shotguns in it, along with some opium and cocaine. Right, and you had a doctor obviously come out and attend to you. Yeah, we had uh, Schuber and uh, Dolores come and look after us, but... Lucky they come all the way out there and found you. They did, but I'm mighty annoyed about the amount of guns that mm -hmm. were lost, but we figured, you know, that coupled with the what we've heard from Lou about trouble down there, we think, you know, if, mm -hmm. if with your permission, we'll go next time with greater numbers and maybe if we can get an armored wagon just to be sure of the next one, because there's still a number of... Uh, Handguns to be taken out. What do you have an armored wagon? I have an armored wagon that was gifted me by. Um, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I've got an armored wagon that was gifted to, to me by Ford mm -hmm. back in the day. Uh, yep. uh, sorry, I mean, uh, what's the what's the one with the with the with the with the gun on it? Mounted gun wagon. Oh yeah, okay. The one the one with the Gatling gun on it. Yeah, right. You got one of those, yeah. Yeah. I've got an armored wagon that I could um, gift to you and you could use that for your operations. Oh, yeah, I've already got one. Oh, beautiful. Uh, it's just, yeah, we, the I, I can't remember what the one with the guns called. Oh, so you want to request one of those? Yeah, just for the next one, just to be... I could 100% put a request through to the marshal for that because, I mean, uh, that's twice now that you've uh, had people laying in wait for you down there, isn't it? Uh, no, this last stream... Just once? Uh, I've only had just this one go belly up uh, okay. over the last month or two. Mm-hmm. It's just 100%. I'll, I'll definitely put a request and we can send some more people down there and have that as a bit more protection, especially we're taking so much uh, valuables down there. Well, that's the thing. We're sort of out of the out of, out of the piles of drugs. Mm -hmm. It's now we're on to the firearms is the yep. next big uh, next big group we need mm -hmm. to get rid of. Well, if you can, uh, if, when you go to do the next one, if you give me a date, I'll, um, I'll get a request and see if we can get you that um, ordinance that you need. I'll try and figure out that. I, uh, as soon as possible. Looking at maybe, uh, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday night. Yeah, sounds good. I just gotta, I can't figure out my way. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. It's a bit early. No oh. worries. Well, I'll go and get these other guys sorted with their uniforms, or not. No worries, sir. Thank you. You after you waiting for us, or? Oh, I was just gonna say, uh, yeah. If you need anything, give me a holler because I'll be going to and from. Coming back with amnesia. Bit, uh, well. It's doing whatever the government needs me to do, but yeah, I'll beautiful. always be around if you need an extra hand or an extra rifle. So you just let me know oh. and I'll be around. I oh, appreciate it. Have you got, um, you got a card there with your postal ID or anything like that? Or? Oh, that's probably a good idea. Hang on, give me a second. I've got something here. Where is it? I had fun with my Hughes' amnesia arc, Brox, on Guama. That was um, you know what? very I'm funny. i find you because I need to write it down myself because I'm pretty that's sure right. I know what it is. But I'm not, I don't want to make an ass of myself. It's happened before. <laughs> Oh, you got a uh, you got a very low one. Yeah, we, I think we both do actually. Mm. I've got mine here in my pocket. I'll grab it out for you. Ah, ah, very good, Brox. Now I've been there, and it's yeah, it allows for a, a very funny, interesting arc to see where it um. Sorry, what was yours, Ames? I'm pretty sure it's like one or one. Give me a second. I know, Gazo. Just in my head at the same time. Wind was the I just know I've got to see a thieves on Monday night. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna deal with some. I definitely can't do Thursday night because I've got an early start at work minutes. Friday. Gosh. Oops, sorry, mate. All right. Probably Wednesday. Probably Tuesday or Wednesday night. I'll do. Yeah, the whip's episode sorted. Lots in the works. Lots in the works. It's, um, that's very exciting to see, 
you know, big chunks of new things coming just to allow people to immerse themselves more. So I... Oh. Did I miss it again? Oh, what? What was it? Uh, give me a second. Let me bring it up. Oh, for see thing. Oh, dude. Yeah, I haven't, um, I haven't tried the... You got the... Uh, like you can... There you go. Right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna write it down for the sheriff. I, um... I've played it once, but I kept forgetting to use the new, like, you can, like... You can, like, go down the zip line. You can tightrope, walk. I was completely forgetting to do that because I'm just so used to playing it the original way. I was like, oh, yeah, gotta use... It was like when they added the harpoons. I kept forgetting they were added. I kept, like, running the stuff manually to the ladder. I'm like, oh, yeah. New things. Change. <laughs> what am I doing? So we're trying to... Bard and I are getting a bunch of uh, generosity folk together tomorrow night to do... At the very least, get a galleon going, or maybe a couple of ships. Just to really... Just to really get into it. We tried Tuesday night last week, but then quickly learnt that that's the new maintenance night for us down here in... in the Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> so, we're like, Monday night it is! I gotta try and get my my work life balance in check so that I can get on get on as Hughes more. But then I'm just thinking, how do I how do I fit in Valdemar? Is Valdemar just like once a fortnight kind of thing? Because he's just the funny side character. Hughes is the Hughes is my main character. Oh, Brox! If you if you're still listening, I was going to start go. inquiring. Are you? I, I, I've probably no oh, I've probably yeah, asked you a, a bunch of times already. So yeah, sorry to bug you. Yeah. Are you coming to? Are you looking at coming to PAX this year? Oh, Jack, you look great. With with um with BlizzCon not happening? Yeah, my was on that. You coming to you coming to PAX? You said I could pick a Jack or two. It's something with the die that doesn't stick or something. Sorry, what was that? I said that man had too long enough. You see that Jack? You said I'll look at Jack or two. Well, he ain't getting anywhere unless he gets on a boat, so you got yeah. some time to go get him. I'm oh, gonna head up to Valentine then. Oh, I gotta chat this gentleman. And Lucy, I'll. Are Fair you enough, the man. Well, well if you. Yeah, if you do feel, feel you. more sure about coming, please let me know. Yep. Um, um I. I the Valentine for the funeral. I'm just thinking yeah, of some well. ideas for for Red Dead yeah, I'll send through to your your related token. stuff with packs. Cool. I'm just thinking. I'll of, still work out what a jacket we could have. I'm going to be chasing up some people just to see what they're thinking. No pressure. You coming up to the funeral, Ames? Yeah, I was asking, trying. I think you're in your head. I, I don't. Not I'll come with you. I didn't know Brittany very well, but I figured just be there just to. Show support for the community. I'm ready when you are. I'm gonna put the marker just because. Sounds like things are gonna. Come Hello. To shit. Pretty much. We're heading to Valentine. Uh, yeah, so am I. Just we thought we'd be there to just to show support. Yeah, well, yeah, she was my sister. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. And I hear we had Richard Dom's funeral recently. 
Yeah, I didn't get to a 10, uh, but he was my dad. Yeah, that's... What? That's a lot. To, that's a lot, Woodman. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's not your fault. No, I know. I just, people say sorry for, for that kind of sh stuff. I blame Yuri. Oh, I don't blame you. That boy's always getting into trouble these days. Bloody Yuri, mate. Bloody Yuri. Goddamn son of a bitch. It's gonna be in my head. <laughs> no worries, you got plenty of time. There's been talk in the in the um the Discord lately about new scripts and stuff to the game. I wouldn't mind an actual proper bridge over that river between this area and Blackwater. That's it's such a minor thing, but I I wouldn't mind a an actual bridge. Jesus Christ. Oh, he's running. Okay. I guess he's all right. He's running off. Enjoy your freedom. You're welcome. What the hell? That was hard. Dear, oh dear. Lucky we came by. <laughs> God, I feel so out of place with my horse. To be fair, it's a big horse. <laughs> I do it. Pardon? I said that hurt. Sorry. Oh, no, it just it happened so fast.
right, Porky. Not you, honey. I'm calling Squiz Fat. Who's saying we that? We arrived, Ames. Porky. Yeah. Oink, oink, Hello. Oink. I'm okay. How are you? Pretty good, George. You are it? Hey, Dawn. Um, hey, George. It's me, Squiz. Yes. What's going on? Oh, is everyone oh, wearing yellow? Fantastic. It's been a long time. Yeah. Not much. long enough. Yellow was the yeah. color. How's America um, treating you? Yellow was much better. Color. Have you got the... What do you mean? I do. I mean. I was... Oh, hello. Woodman. Hello. I'll, I'll get some tobacco for you soon. Hello. Thank got you. Some. Yuri, why are you here? I'm allowed to be here. Wait, oh my you god. Is? Hello. Oh, good sure Bloody Squiz yeah, Taylor, Mrs. Squeeze. Phenom. Bloody Squiz nice Taylor. Outfit. I like oh, that. Nice to meet you. Oh, very, very good. Very fancy. Yeah, I didn't mean to wear yellow, well. but I'm wearing yeah, yellow and I'll now I see it right in. Oh, <laughs> well done. Nazzy. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, it's a funeral because I don't know how it's I got so small again. For a character that permadeath. Oh, hello, little boy. Okay. There's posters up about it in the Discord it and around the country, so I'm you are even so everyone short. is welcome I don't know to how attend. I'm short. Uh huh. You're oh, pretty no, short. I've been, I've been eating blueberries. As, as, uh, okay. As Charlie here. And I'm a lady. That's embarrassing. Men can't be short. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say get, something, but it's probably some not nice. If, if, if what my you got, like size five God. shoes, there, if my please? game crashes, take your head off, Squiz. Dolly would be taller than you. Uh, if my oh, if my really ca game crashes, it's because the funeral was a shit. hell of a turnout. Small things coming. Uh, no, no, four nine. Insane. Good things coming from all back. No, my ID says I'm <laughs> six foot, so... He's the shortest, That's... tallest man in Valentine. Uh -huh. That's not true. I think you're wrong, Yuri. That's, that's mi not mi 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 Mr. Yuri, what, what, what number is your hat? Um... Shit, uh, I cannot remember. It's it's just push hat, him mate. over and steal it. Couldn't, that could work, too. Are you getting muddy, though? Hey, we're about to get race. Yeah, I think yeah. they want us to hit on yeah, you. But not so Where's Jebediah at? Right? Who the hell's Jebediah? Oh, there he is. Never met Jeb. Jeb ah, Howdy, no. Walt. <laughs> Howdy. Lovely evening for it. Yep. Yeah. You have gold front? Oh, not good. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. You're attending the funeral of Brittany Blade. Please All right. Away, Thank you. Oh, here we go. Here, where's your land? Oh my god, you forgot. That's okay. You forgot. Classic Yuri. Right here. Always rocking up late. Always forgetting. Well, I was actually early today. Wow, that's a fucking shocker. Yeah, Shut that's up, yeah, even me and George can vouch. Yeah, if there's one thing we can agree on. Even that for Richard, Yuri, oh, <laughs> sorry, Richard. Well, sorry, you, you can't said. Sit down anywhere, but you guys are welcome to just stand. Richard or said. Sit on the ground. Leon said. <laughs> Shit, there's a lot of people. I can't see anybody. I'm get out of the way. I'm gonna let the other people I'm go gonna... ahead. Let you follow. I'm just yeah? gonna stand at the back. Fuckers, with this oh church God, pew everyone. shit. <laughs> Oh, he's got to figure it out. Yeah, right, I can do that. We're starting in five, everyone, but you can just chat, I guess. Well, I can see Is there any drinks? People. It's a funeral, it ain't a wake, you idiot. <laughs> Wait, is the wake before or after, usually? After. Oh, after? Okay. Jesus, George. It's a lot of right, people. Just... You want people passing out at a yeah, funeral? I don't think so. Oh, that's good. Well, I ran in here. Well, I can, I can see half the people. Yeah, I can see you. <laughs> That's good. Wait, how much is here? I <laughs> smell the Lord already, amen. <laughs> amen. Hello? Oh. Howdy, Mr. Hughes. Oh, Lou, howdy! I didn't recognize you with the hat. That's alright, man. How you doing, all things considered? Eh, uh, not bad. Not bad. Yourself? Oh, yeah, we just had our West meeting, so that was good. Oh, nice.
<laughs> they've got the hats. <laughs> Cosbot, it's... Struggling to sit on these seats. It's unreal, eh? Hey? In, this, in this room, it's nice yeah, to see. There is. Good. Yeah, is that Terrence in the back? Hey, hey, Terrence. Hi. What's up, Terrence? What's up? Hey, Terrence. Oh, you're here somewhere? Are you, Cosbot? Uh, this is a funeral, not a dance club. What the fuck is this? <laughs> You're in the back? Oh no. How about you do it towards the end? Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, Osvaldo is up there. <laughs> You're right. See, I don't think Hughes... fall through the church? Hughes <laughs> didn't know Brittany that well, so I hope... I hope... A real priest. I didn't want to Maybe take a well, good seat so from someone that knew her better. Jesus. But th there was no one in this pew! You gotta, you gotta fill Hi. it up. Hi. Where did Osvaldo just disappear from that store? Wow. Howdy, mister. You guys got nice lanterns. Thanks, mister. Is that Vance? Some of these people I don't reckon, I don't know who the hell they are. Who's that? Like, who's that? Who's that lady? With that? I've never seen anyone with that hairdo. Who's that? Who's this guy? Who's that guy? Who's this? The swinging of lanterns echoes through the halls. Okay, I think I'm just gonna start. Just think everyone's here. Um, anyway, I just want to thank you all for attending. Uh, it means a lot to me, and I I know uh, Brittany made an impact on this community. It was very hard to see her go uh. for the people who were there. <laughs> it's like, who's making that noise? I think he's crying. Oh, <laughs> that's just his crying noise. Um, um, I just if no one knows, I am uh, Brittany's cousin. Um, I'm her older cousin. Uh, Brittany and I grew up together in Texas. Back in the day before she moved out when she was 10. Um, and so I do have a few words for my dearest Brittany. Underneath this wide expanse of the wild west sky, we gather today with heavy hearts to bid farewell to our beloved Brit Brittany Blade. Brittany, with her fiery orange hair and a smile as innocent as the dawn, brought a light to our lives that will be missed. To me, Brittany was more than a cousin. She was like a daughter. From the moment she entered this world, her laughter filled our hearts, her happiness a beacon of hope in the sometimes harsh realities of the frontier life. I have loved her fierce, fiercely, with a love that would have moved mountains, faced down any danger, and even sacrificed my own life to protect her. Growing up, Brittany and I were inseparable. We rode horses together, explored the untamed lands, and shared secrets under the starlit skies. But when she had to leave, at the tender age of ten, my heart shattered into a thousand pieces. I remember holding her hand tightly, tears streaming down my face as we said our goodbyes. In that moment, I made a promise, a vow, a whisper through sobs, to find her again and keep her safe. As the years passed, life's trails and tribulations took us down different paths. But Brittany, with her boundless love for everyone she met, she never lost her infectious joy or her unwavering beliefs in the goodness of people. She only saw the best, never the shadows that sometimes lurked in the corners of our world. She would have given everything, to, um, even her own life, to save people, just to bring a smile to everyone's face. And now, as we gather to mourn her passing at the tragically young age of 18, I carry, carry the weight of that unfilled promise like a stone in my heart. Brittany's laughter, her kindness, and unbreakable spirit will forever be in our memories. Though my soul aches at the pain of losing her and the regret of not being able to protect her as I promise, I find comfort in knowing that Brittany passed peacefully, her innocent smile lighting her way to eternity. Goodbye, sweet Brittany. Your light may have left this world too soon, but it will forever shine in our hearts. Until we meet again, may you rest, Brittany. Amen, amen. Cheers. Um, up oh, next we have the Dottie to say a few words. Oh shit, we were here to say a few words? I wasn't asked to say a few words. Uh, what is Brittany. there? Brittany, you are nothing short of remarkable. You had this aura about you that could brighten even the dullest days. You remind me of uh, a sunrise, a force of warmth and light. 
You always brought a sense of hope to this world. I distinctly remember one of the first nights I ever came across you. We were in Santini and I was on a job. You were with Maxine and both insisted on pulling me away from everyone and I'm so glad you did. Right then and there, you claimed me as your family. I vowed with my whole heart to protect you and I tried until the very end. From there, you made me feel a love that was unconditional, like a mother to her daughter. You had the purest of hearts, never failing to see the good in anybody you ever came across. The thought never really crossed my mind that I would have to say goodbye to you. And now that I'm here, I'm at a complete loss. I will forever be grateful for the time we got to share together. And truthfully, I wish we had eternity. Brittany, I will miss you with all my heart. I will keep your, keep your memory alive and continue to share those memories of you. Love always, your polka dot. Thank you, Dottie. Thank you. Um, Lou, did you want to go up now? Sure. Spread the gracious gift of God's nature, Fran. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, first of all, Zane Ryder sends his regards and his deepest condolences <laughs> for Brittany. But as we gather today to bid farewell to Brittany Blade, we find ourselves enveloped in sorrow at the loss of a shining beacon, beacon extinguished too far soon. Brittany wasn't just a presence in our life. She was the light that guided our past through the darkest of times. Despite facing challenges that would have broken many, Brittany's, Brittany remained steadfast and resilient, a testament to her unwavering strength. She showed us that even in the midst of adversity, it is possible to stand tall and face each day with courage and grace. Though her time with us was tragically short, Brittany's impact will echo through our hearts forever. Her laughter, her kindness, her unwavering spirit will be cherished memories that we hold dear. As we say goodbye, let us... <laughs> what the heck is this guy doing, man? As we say our goodbyes, let us take comfort in the knowledge that Brittany's light will continue to shine brightly in our memories. May she find peace in the gentle embrace of eternity, knowing that she touched our lives of, sorry, knowing that she touched the lives of all who were fortunate enough to know her. Rest in peace, rest, rest in peace dear Brittany. Amen, amen. 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 Uh, amen. Is Walt Gold here? I know you wanted to say something. I don't think so. Well, I think he left. That's okay. All right, so Alexia here. Um, I think Alexia did anyone had else want to come up? Kelly, do you want to yeah. say anything? Did anyone want to come no, up I'm and good. say something? I can't read. <laughs> well, thank you all uh, well, for coming. Uh, Brittany's ashes will be spread uh, in Valentine. Um, if we all just wanted to take a moment um, to stand outside for a minute in silence at her uh, lovely grave that has been made by a uh, Lou, it's just outside. You did amazing, Lou. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> you join us again, Father Alpha. What is this grave, man? Like, is it here? Oh, thank you, friend. <laughs> yeah. She's not buried here, but this is where the stone is. I feel like I'm on a bus right now. Bye, Brittany. Yeah, maybe we can raise the lantern at her. What the heck? Thank you all. I really yeah, appreciate it. it. Goodbye, Brittany. Oh my god, is it finished? 
<laughs> yes. Okay, I'm gonna do some cocaine. Okay, see you, everyone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck you, you Roman. Yuri. Fuck you, racist, Yuri. Man. It's all Yuri's fault. You did this. I second that. You did this to Brittany, and you did it to Frank, and you did it to Maxine. So way to hide the thing on the top right. You did, you did everything wrong. I only just really bitch. noticed that. It hasn't gone away. That'll be in the hut or something, I'm gonna take right? out your other eye. How could you? Brittany would have wanted it. Anyway. You'll pay for this, you little shit. Oh, I thought you were- okay, sorry. <laughs> Whoa. Get out of here. You ruined it. You ruined everything, Roman. You killed Brittany. Okay. Willy? I in... just don't really need to see it. Willy! Hey, Roman. Not display. Oh, uh... <sighs> Maybe? Me. You people are harassing me. Yo, is um, is Prem Donkey or Minty there? Are you currently lurking? Can you, can you hear me? For a quick question. Hello, man. Um, how do I, do you know how oh, I can hide? You see on the top right, you've got the, you know, the amount of money, the, you know. <laughs> PVP on yeah, ID number, blah blah blah. There's stuff in the top right. Do you know yeah, if I can, no if that can be hidden? Please. Howdy, Ames. No, There's a bear no, up Roman, there. Wait. He earned, he earned so much money. Don't. There's he a bear in the money. graveyard. It should do. You work at the stable. Why? What? I don't know. I'm getting my shotgun because that thing is about I'm five really seconds away from tearing someone apart. I don't think it will, but if it does, I want to have a whip. No. I might do a quick... I'll t do a screenshot and I'll share it in the Discord. Hopefully someone... Y'all hear it growling? Yep. Now, we won't, don't want to provoke it, but if it starts starts tearing folk apart, then we start fucking filling it full of socks. Yeah, I really don't want a, a bear massacre nope. at, at the wake of a funeral. That's Willie riding. No, it's gone. Has it gone back into the woods? Let's go. Howdy, gentlemen. Lou, uh, I'm assuming that bear is now uh, gone. Uh, that bear was a friend of Brittany's. <laughs> came oh. to the, 
fades. It, yeah, it came to say goodbye. Yeah, well, I'm glad it didn't do anything other than say goodbye. No, no it wouldn't. It's a, it's a good bear. Somewhat domesticated. What do you mean, somewhat? Somewhat. It uh, won't just randomly attack everybody. All right. Yep. Jesus Christ. Hard to, un hard to explain. Look at all this. Look at all this down here. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, damn. <sighs> thing. Is that, uh, that's the sheriff's problem now. What, what do you mean? I mean, like, I'm still used to going down there and breaking up parts and stuff, but I'm only here to hold oh, the mother of God. Howdy! Well, see people. What the what? hell? It's the ghost of Harkness. Kill it. Trapped in the void. Yeah, right. Where's see, else? everybody couldn't hear anything. All right. Well, I can hear a bear. See yeah, a bear. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, we all heard the bear. Jingles yeah, we, yeah, yeah I thought it was jingles. We, we wanted to figure out. How the hell do you all know about this bear? This is the first time I'm fucking. Anyway. Bear robbed a bank. I'm Wait, sorry, you're gonna have to that... run that one by me again. Was that the bear that robbed a bank that time? Bear robbed a bank. Okay, a uh, couple things, gentlemen. Uh, I'm pretty sure bears don't have opposable thumbs, or the ability to hold a gun, nor the ability to ask for anything other than going. Well, well Ames, so... next you will say that my horse can't be the mayor of, Saint of uh, Valentine here. Well, it probably could. Would it do a good job? Uh, it's doing sure. a it's doing a great job, actually. Crime's never been lower here. Ha ha! Looks like everyone's fired uh, out of town. So, are, are you both now in a proper attire that we gotta wear? Is, is, is that it, or it's toggle UI? I had your uh, thanks to. Oh yeah, I just polars on, in. Uh... The Discord. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Toggle UI. Yeah. Like Which side are you going to, uh, Mr. Ames? Where is uh, it? Look I at his need. badge. Yep. I'm guessing you two with the Bowman because of the red. Yeah, same as uh, this one here. Woodman. This, one, this one's got a name, Woodman. Very nice. The mayor of Sam. No, I have to take him to the Tarfields one day again. Yeah. Who? We have to take like criminals to the. Soon as well. Uh, Lou. What's that? Sounds like uh, Pinkerton, you'll have Pinkerton officer soon. Yeah, I mean, I'll be working with both jurisdictions whenever there's a case coming up. That'll be C good. Case of Pink Eye. Woodman, it's not Pink Eye for the hundredth time. Okay, Pink uh, Turn. Not Pink Eye. Pink Eye is a uh, disease. Some Just I don't know if I call detective. it. Geez, I call it an ailment. There, that what Mr. Ames said. Okay. And it generally happened when I fought it on Smiley's pillow. <laughs> there you go. That explains why Smiley was uh, scratching his eye a lot. Oh yeah, I fought it on his pillow that many times. Not fun. <laughs> it's still funny. Uh, funny. So what's your plan for tonight, boys? Well, it looks like our heartness here is about to stir some tables. Yeah. What? He's gonna serve some fucking justice. That's what he's gonna do. <laughs> Very good. Color doesn't stick for some reason. That's eh. so good. Yeah, so it's supposed to be the darker red, right? Rather than the big bright red. Yes. Yeah. All right. Um. There. So, you know, who sent me the uh, letter about? The T H H whatever it was, the, you know the mysterious letter. I think it was you, Harkness. Oh yes, I got those thanks too. Okay, if you get any more of those, that's now a cold case. Um, okay. All that, the people sending that have all died. Oh yeah, no, I think what was John Wonder Man taking this? Yeah, that's now a cold case. And yeah. It's now put to rest. All good. I put her to rest. So it's all good. Yeah, oh, that's that lady that sounded like a man that shot me, right? Yeah, she shot you, so I shot her. Yeah, oh well, you get what you deserve. Yeah, but kind of severed her spine, so she's dead now. Yeah, well, apparently... And she deserved it, she shot you, so... 
Yeah, well, uh, I think those are the same people that kidnapped Liddy. But, uh, yeah, they've all died and it's now a cold case. Hey, hey, Lou, have you seen Wolfie yet? No, I have not, actually. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know where Wolf is at the moment, to be honest. I heard he was around, but I haven't seen him. Have any of you boys seen him? No. Nope. I know Walt said he was looking for, trying to find me, that was about it. Oh, I mean, you know, Wolf, he'll turn up when he wants to turn up. Yeah, I know. Not so good. I'll go get changed. Give me a sec, boys. All good. Yeah, I gotta go down and uh, buy my new Westy clothes. Yeah. Alright, well, give me a sec, this guy's here. Hey, you. Hello, Mr. Hughes. Mr. Howdy, Howdy, Jim. That was good Hello, footy. Mr. Hawk. Good footy, everyone. Hello. Hello, looking bigger as ever. Mr. Hat. Good footy, everyone. Good footy. Mr. Hat. <laughs> I like that. Call him Mr. Hat. <laughs> How did your chat go with Luddy? Yeah, great. Well, we had a, out, or... a few questions. Everybody had yeah. a few questions. It went pretty well. I thought it would go as well. We were interrupted by a man swimming a through the roof. That was oh, a bit okay. weird. Oh, what, what man was that? No, just like a local. He was just swimming oh, okay. in the air. Oh, oh it's not that man. That's good. No, no. But, um, no. Oh, it, we're done. Let's go for a rod. Yeah. I'd... Is everyone else? Or yeah, well, that's going to the question. I don't know. I was looking for Miss Tessa and that's okay. uh, Mr. Kenneth, because that's who I came with. But I don't know. We'll go somewhere else. We'll take you out somewhere. Oh, are you sure? What? Yeah, while well, we can. Okay. Oh. I see that there's a. A wagon there. Is oh, that thank you. Meant to hey, be James. there? Yeah, that's uh, Mr. I can do those now. Ames's wagon. Oh, okay. That... I changed my hat. I will. Oh no, my wagon's down in uh, Blackwater. I don't know how to yeah, go up so... here. Yeah, so anyway, no. uh, yeah, George, there you go. I can write those kind of documents so now. Anytime. Yeah, until you. Get... That's one free use. One. Okay, one use. I'll okay, save I'll it until I really thing. need it. Yeah, but you got it. Oh, thank you. That's perfect. Now, I'm not sure if the, you know, the assistant or deputy governor meant for me to do that when he gave me that, uh, that document book, but, uh, well, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. But yeah. See, I think, I think that's, you know, I think that's going to keep us a, quite a, uh, a lawful society by making sure that people have... It's not usually, a. Uh... What the fuck is happening behind me? It's not usually, me? uh, I just realized there's not usually a map in the bottom left corner, is there? I only oh, like... Look these people did. So this guy's to... dead. This guy's dead. Yeah. Well, yeah um, what? What happened? They're injured. I don't know. I just hand them. I uh, get him to the doctor. That should be. There's no doctor inside. So I don't. Yeah, I only like that when it's the map. Yeah, I don't know I don't what's know. going on with my HUD. Don't. Oh, there we go. Oh, Fixed yeah, it. Okay. Where's Jib? Do we have a doctor here? Officer Hub. Can you please, like... This is your colleague! This is your colleague! Please put him down. Hey, what'd Every you do? What'd you do? Every time I see Roman, he's... Oh, like, please put him down. Care. I need to get him help. Dude, what'd I do? what I do? I did oh, nothing. No, I swear to God. there's no doctor here. I thought there was. Roman, what, what every time happened? I look at you, you've got a body over your shoulder. I'm I did nothing wrong heart. this time. You guys just only say that because I'm ethnic. What happened to you, Kenneth? He does that. Hey, there's a fellow looking That's for like bolts outfit. down there. I what? Think you look great, right? I'm gonna stop my own church. Oh, fella awesome. looking for boat. It's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Druidism. Yeah, yeah, he's from Mexico. He's got one leg. No, Druidism. You know Druid? Druid? Yeah, I'm a Druid. I can turn into yeah, animals. I'm gonna start a oh, cult. Shit. He's looking for a boat. Oh, salt. He's in the wrong place. Yeah, what kind of You know, my god is the deer. Yeah, okay. the great George. Deer. He's a big Daddy? white deer. He watches Daddy? over us. He created this, this world. What the hell Sitting happened to that guy's leg? Did you give George uh, the gift? Like that religion? Oh, oh, this is from I'm Squeeze. Make... <laughs> I'm smoking meth. I smoke meth. I'm a dildo. Don't yeah. laugh at that. That's not funny. Now I'm all dirty. Yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna study with Steven and Armadillo. He's a meth head. Awesome. 
What is What's that so guy funny? blabbering he's, he's on he's about? What? Well, it's 40, guess that. That's he's from, 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 from Squiz. You know, yeah, so when you get hungry on the road, when you're riding your horse, you're just like... That's why you can put stick your rat shit! No, you put it in your top lip. And you like, suck on it. No, I haven't found it yet. Oh, we're on the road. Squares? No. Up, man, oh, okay. I gave George That's a gift okay. and he didn't like it. Uh, when I found he gave me 30 you, you pieces of rat them. shit. Ah, uh, that sounds <laughs> like squeeze. Okay. No, so well, you, when you get here? hungry, you know, you just nibble on it. Oops, sorry. He's letting That's around. what Harkness he's told me. Back. So, what are you sheriffs up to today? Not much. That's, that's good. What's this Rats. on the ground, sheriffs? What are we circling around? That's some, uh, that's some chocolate. That oh, looks familiar. Mexican. Chocolate's not on the ground. It's not meant to be on the ground. Yeah, I put it there. It's bait. See who picks it up. Oh my god! Bait, bait for who, though? It's chocolate. Pick it up. Yo, yeah. oh, he's eating it! Oh dear. Oh, I mean it. Lord. Yummy! Oh god, no. Oh. Put... Yummy! <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> Yummy! Oh, you're gonna need a doctor. Why, oh, is, never it eat. Why is it eating so much of it? Oh my it's, god. It's because it's the finest chocolate. Uh, Where'd I'm you get that? Sick. I'm going to. Um, I got it from the sheriff's department. Oh. George, George Hughes. I gave it to George. Well, no, Harkness gave it to me. I might have and to steal I it, it from them. I might have to and rob then... them for it. It tastes really oh, good. That's probably not a good idea. Oh. Well, yeah. I'm not a criminal, but that was really good. Boy, what was Thanks, good? Sir. The, the chocolate. chocolate. No, the don't chocolate eat that. On the ground. Don't he eat red shit. Don't eat he it. He ate it all. He put on a plate. And it, it didn't it taste all. that bad. Oh, don't. What are you doing? Don't do that. It had a little bit of sweetness. Oh, a little bit of sourness and saltiness. It's a corn. Ah, oh, yummy. No, no. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I can go make some more if you want. Um, no, more. thank you. My stomach doesn't feel too good with it. Too much sugar. Ugh. It's okay. He's just trying to hide it. No, it's just good. Thanks. Hey, give so. me a second. Howdy, John. Howdy, ma'am. Oh, wait, lady? Okay, yeah, that was necessary. Oh, hey, I haven't seen you out of the uniform. How you doing? Very hey, well, what's how that are made you? Out of? Oh, Dark well, chocolate. Congratulations, I think are in order. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Relax yourself. You now, uh, I'll be, uh, uh, well, I should say, Smiley has seen fit to, uh, well, I should, should say, he's done sorry, enough I to offer me a job with the soon, Marshall, so I'll okay. be uh, floating between both <gasps> of the departments around. now, so. Oh, All right, mate. my One goodness, day. congratulations to more. you, sir. See, <laughs> yeah. see, that's how you do it, George, not just like, oh, they just hire oh, anyone now. It was nice now. meeting you, mate. Oh. It tasted like Yeah, <laughs> don't worry, George gave me <laughs> shit. Always what happened shit. to this town? I've seen Lady do work, though. Is that you, Lady? Oh, you look beautiful. How many times have I your ass, George? Oh Actually, God. speak of the devil. Hey, Squeeze, remember that time oh, we were chasing no. you? I heard you. you. Went off I heard you. And then George came hi, tumbling lady. after. Oh, yeah. I heard you. That was when I'm I shot George's horses. And, and then I said, hi, Lenny. Yeah, I, yeah, I heard you. Yeah, I said, hi. George, what was that about yeah. me? Sorry about that, George. That was ages ago. Oh, ages ago. What okay, have you done so... since then? <laughs> what have you done since then? What have you done for me lately? Is that the discussion we're having, George? Jeez. George, remember that time in the, in the valley? It just, I didn't expect that, that many people it's to It's hard to remember honest. lots of individual moments amongst all the crime you've committed. Uh, like, I think 30. Okay, I'm not that bad. That's quite nice. You're yeah, still speeding around in your silly little wagon? Yeah, I've actually got a big wagon now because I was fat at one stage and needed six horses to pull me along. Nothing much, actually. Yeah, Just no. working on my train. Choo choo choo. Yeah, so anyway, sorry, sorry, man. I was going <laughs> to say Jets. Letty anyway. Uh, <laughs> seeing as old George has been real and I had to call him on it. Um, yeah, if you need anything, let me know. I'll be a part of me. Part of me. Both dis districts is required. Districts? Is that what we're calling? Are you calling them districts? Damn, George. Jurisdictions, that's the one. That Can one. I help you, ma'am? How you doing? Yes, I'll, I'll be floating in and out. I just got ego, George. Yeah. Wait, why is it not working? Yeah, I, I don't think she likes you very much. 
Is that you, George? It is. How do you? Oh, yeah. I've never uh, met you before. Hi, I'm Ivy. Like What's like your name? Well. My name is George Hughes. Ivy, nice yeah. to meet you. <laughs> we don't okay. have to deal with George. George, so is that, that you? It is. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you, George. I'm Ivy. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Sorry, I don't know what well, I'm... You can pick, you can pick Wait, what are you doing, County yeah, George? Yeah, oh my. You know, I'm, a, I'm in the law department. Ew, be... why? Yeah, I'll teach well, you. Gotta... Hang on, I can give... Do your part. I want to so make sure everyone's safe. Why? Without, uh, why? Being able to Me and George go way back. We used to live Good job. Really? One of those. Oh, oh, no way. That's so cute. Why'd you become a lawman? I, I want to do my major. part keeping Major's everybody right. safe. I, I think I remember that. Job. The lawmen have killed me multiple times. Did you know this? I mean, knocked me out. Well, that's not oh, wrong. He's still standing. What, what were you doing to have that happen to you? Oh, shit. Oh, I'll route one of them off. Nothing. I, once I was walking and they came up behind me and said, You skank! And then they shot me. Oh, and who I got said that? Out. Um. Okay, give me a second. Excuse me. Harkness. Oh, I. <laughs> I, I find it hard to believe Harkness said that, but if he did, then that's no, not true. okay. Oh my god, is that the pussy? Oh, let me, patrol? let me. Where is no, it? This Where's is Harkness? <laughs> oh my uh, god, they daddy. do look alike. Uh, oh Hughes, god. Woodman. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hughes has got kissable lips. You see Harkness? Oh. They look alike. I, I me and George just go way back. You ruined it. I was talking all. Is, is that Corbin the dog? Can you boys do me a favor, please? Yeah. Yeah. Is it Zulk? Um, I don't know if he's still there, but on the gallows, Yuri's sitting there by himself. Can we see if he's all right? Oh. Can we hang him? Absolutely not. He's not. He's feeling you know, guilty of what happened. I told him, you know, start a new chapter in your life. You put the past behind you and move on. Let's uh, see if he... Just needs anyone to talk to. Okay. Guess if he's there. If not, he might be in town. All right. Oh dear. He's gone. He's gone. Yes. That's he might be in town. Sorry, I thought he was still sitting there. Well, hopefully he's okay. Hello there. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if he's all right. If he needs anything. Okay. Is it dog? Oh, look at that oh, spotty horse. Oh, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Oh, Maybe, um, what's going on up here tonight? I can't hear one thing. Oh, you don't know there is. The funeral yeah. for um, Brittany. No. Do you know Brittany passed away? No, I don't. Uh, no? Just... Where have you been under a rock? Yeah, my yeah I'm not dealing with it today. Yeah, no, Brittany yeah. passed. Funeral for for that. Guys, yeah, I'm gonna go get changed and get back to work. Good. Yeah. I'll just let you know. I've got a photo of No time. worries, lady. You <laughs> actually have to travel. George and the boys can just <laughs> be <Yeah>. here, which <laughs> <it's really laughs> <No>. quite helpful. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I did see him. A lot of injured people. Was there some sort of a shootout or anything that I didn't be concerned with? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I think okay. we'll just call it the festivities of uh, being the, you know, the wake, I guess. Oh, well, not my jurisdiction. Yeah, I'm happy yeah, yeah. to there call it whatever go. you see, want. The order, <laughs> see, look at that. That's Sheriff and right there. That's just like, you know what? This ain't my fucking bag. I ain't dealing with it. That's right. This ain't my job. All right. Bye-bye, fellas. You'll be Thanks, safe. Bye, lady. Thanks, lady. <laughs> you know what? You, you know what? This is going to be great. You're doing great already. I love it. This is fantastic. I'm mighty excited. Wow, Huggins oh, is so I'm tall so now. Happy. It's always this so... makes me happy. Makes me happy to wonderful to see you, George. We have, still have to go drinking again sometime. Yeah, we will have to definitely. Let me know. Wait, okay. last time you went drinking, didn't you? Kind of black out, George. When was that? I think Yuri needs help. He's just downed about six bottles of whiskey. Where, where is oh my he? God. He's out the back in the clothes store. Oh, great! We don't have to take him too far away to get him behind the, the and put him out of his misery. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was just downing bottles of whiskey, saying it around oh, here. I don't know. Hey, look, okay. Gary, where'd he go? Hey, you don't deserve it. Stop drinking alcohol. You're gonna get alcohol poisoning. I'm gonna have to kick you in the gut to get it all out. Stop drinking alcohol. That's it. What I fucking deserve. No. Hey, hey, come on. 
What's hap- what's- what happened? He's drinking too much alcohol, George. Yuri, how much have you had to drink? I just- uh, five bottles. Over oh, what, you just okay now? There, yeah, in what time span, Yuri? Since the funeral? Uh, since the funeral. No, that- that is way too much. You gotta- you gotta get on the water now, Yuri. That is Yuri. way too Yuri. much too fast. Where's Yuri? Yuri stop, He's here stop on the ground. He's drank five okay. bottles. Let me- let me speak to him. Let me just speak to him real quick. Um, I'll just be round uh, over there. You can watch me. Yuri, you're fine. Oh, jeez, Yuri. Oh, dear. What the hell? What are you doing to him? To... Oh. Sorry, this... Uh, there's times where I hate this town. There's other times where I love it. This is fantastic. It's... It's a time, isn't it? Oh, it's fits. Great. Well, well there's Luke. I gotta ask Luke a question. Dry out. It's warm. <laughs> the situation. You were manipulated, Yuri. The reason why I deserve I this. No, Yuri. you don't. Stop it. Did I hear you were manipulated? Yuri was. I think we need reason? a doctor. We don't need anything. Yuri's just getting interested. into his head about it. It's fine. He ain't being Brittany's better. Stories. Brittany's better up there. Like I said, there was a reason why John Clayton was hung and you weren't. Okay? We know what happened. We know what happened. They don't have any more alcohol. What did I say about the alcohol, Yuri? Yuri, put Lou? that bottle away. Lou, hey, do you, Lou, do you have a minute? Yep. Who gave me the whiskey? All right. You're not drinking anyone. I just, I've had Woodman it. was saying that there was a man asking about boats. Yep. With one leg. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'll have a chat with you. I honestly believe that is the commander. That's okay. him? In the it poncho is, I, with the one leg? I think it is. But, uh, you know, remember Terrence Waters? Yeah. That's Terrence Waters fight. said that uh, he, came, he came to America because he was living on Guam with the commander. The commander fell off the boat and had his leg bitten by a shark. That's what was, yeah, that's what I was remembering. You yep. said something about a shark. That's right. But it's also Terrence Waters. Oh, yeah. And I, before I want to arrest the man, I need to make sure that I have enough evidence that it is him. Shit. Because if we don't have enough evidence and then we go and arrest him, we're going to get in trouble. Shit. So we just keep an eye out. Keep an eye on him. Go okay, write down anything that you see. Well, he pointed at me. It's like he's been talking to everyone there, and he pointed at me as I walk by every time. Yeah, I mean... I, when I, I come up, I'm, he walks away. I believe it to be him. But, um, like, deep down, I think it is him. But we need to remember we're still lawmen, and we need to do our jobs properly. Okay. But, uh, yeah. That's all I can say for the meantime. Alright, I'll just keep an eye out. Keep my ears open. Yep, yep exactly. And then once we, uh... Once we get our proof, we'll nail him and Squiz. Yeah, it's been hard just Squiz bumping in me today. I'm just uh, trying to keep a straight face. Yeah, as much as I wanted to suck him one in the face. Well, I sucked him one before because he gave me 30 rat shit. Oh, did he? Yeah, he gave it to Harkness to give to me. That's fair. So I gave him <laughs> I mean, a solid one to the face. Yeah, good. Give him more every now and then. <laughs> oh, I didn't see anything. <laughs> but, yeah, like I said, I, I still think for the moment, we need to be professional in our job. Yeah, especially because, with this jurisdiction yeah, business. If we can get as much evidence on him, and let's figure out what he's doing here in, in America. I need to say yeah, where's he Sorry. live? Where's he hiding? Yeah. Why is he here? What is he doing? And who he's working with? Okay. All right. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything. 
Yep, just remember, he's on American soil now, yeah. not Guam soil. So we have every right to throw the book at him as hard as we can. Yeah, one wrong move. That's right. Right now, he's done nothing here. But we get him, we find out who he really is, we can stack those charges. Okay. All right, Lou. Uh, no worries. Uh, how you been, Mr. Hughes? Oh, I've been fine. It's just, it's a bit hard hearing about all these funerals. Yeah, there's Richard Dome two days ago, Britney's today. I just really wanted this one to be over today. This one hit me hard. Yeah, I know. You did good, nice. though. Thank you. The guy on the piano really threw me off. I was, if he didn't stop, I was going to go up and lasso him and take him out of there for you. Oh, I was tempted. I was like, keep my composure. You know who it was? I have no idea. I didn't even know who half the people in this town are at the moment. <laughs> me. <laughs> To be really honest. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so if you don't know Brittany, Brittany was one of the uh, experiments done by Yuri. I've heard bits and pieces. Yeah, now, Yuri was, uh, I, I think I told you about this before, about, you know, John Clayton and stuff. Yeah, he was, he was hung? He was hung, yeah, exactly. He showed no remorse. He admitted to killing a lot of people. Oh, dear. And, uh, yeah, Yuri was manipulated and yeah, he did things that he didn't want to do, but he done them. She, is that right? All right, well, where is Yuri? I might have a t talk to him. He's, uh, quite drunk at the moment. He was sitting at the gallows. That's why I said to go maybe have a chat with him. Yeah, that's great. Him, yeah, I said, look, because I've been angry at Yuri for the last couple of months. I don't blame you after I heard all that yeah. nonsense. Yeah, well, look. Brittany was like a little sister to me in the end, you know? I was trying to help her out and look after her as much as I could. But I said, look, I forgive you, Yuri. I got know I've been angry at you the last couple of months, but let's start a new chapter in your book today. Yeah. You know, move on. And hopefully you learn from these experiments. Yeah, and stop running into these bad people. No... Better make better friends, Yuri. Exactly. Exactly. But, I mean, like I said, it is what it is. I just can't handle any more deaths at the moment, Mr. Hughes. No. no. I don't blame you. I'll give you one word of advice. Don't say, don't be close to me. People close to me seem to just die. Oh, no, I've Freeman, been through it. If I can Brittany. survive that Guama time and everything, I'll, I'll, I'll right for a bit, I think. I think. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's just get back into... Uh, yeah, let's get back and mingle with everybody. Circus. Yeah. Yeah, just get notes on that. Will do. do I? I wanted to uh I wanted to get squizzed the other day and have a chat to him. Oh, you let me know. First chance we get Yeah, we get, someone to get uh, both of them. Let yeah. me know and I'll be available. Oh, one hundred percent. The guy some guy shot at me and then Squiz you know, was broken free. I wanna ask Squiz what the commander is doing here and who he's working with. Gotta keep an eye on that shop as well. That's right. Oh yeah, I have to go back there actually. Also, Steampunk, thank you for the resub, mate. Thank but you very I'll, much um, for the kind words. I'll keep you on the loop on my investigations. Sounds good. I... You excited for the new changes? Yes and no, but yeah, trying to look at the positives. I'm just glad to still be working That's with it. a bunch of great lawmen. Beautiful. I, yeah, so I'm not, like, I, I'm very thankful for uh, all the voices Rose. I can do, especially with my work, doing all the voiceovers at, for the radio network. Uh, but sometimes I wonder, is being able to do all these voices, um, yeah, you buy another horse is, it a, is it a, is it a, is being able to do all these voices, um, one over there, behind you, the other one up the road, is being able to do all these voices, the, the like, caused by something bad, <laughs> Do I have like a multiple personality disorder or something that I don't know about? <laughs> but thank you. Where Yuri? I just wish I'm hoping to because I got a voiceover reel and I got a voice acting reel. I'm hoping to try and I'm trying oh to God. hopefully make some contacts at conventions later this year to try and do some. If I could ever do like a voice. For a video game or a short film or something, or God, that'd be good. 
really hoping to get into doing more of that. Look, I got my uniform on. Oh, looking good, woman. You, did you know where Yuri went? Uh, he's in the graveyard. Okay, I'm gonna go talk to him. Oh! My horse is... Yeah, uh, two of them now. Oh, I, look, you, I look tiny on this horse. I mean, no, I got a blood on my shoulder. Like, yeah, well. yeah, easy. Oh, I like. Hey, hey again, guys, Yuri. Um, hey. Walt's asleep by the grave. But okay. I, don't, I don't know what's going on. I just found him here. We're just reading the note that was sticking out of his pocket. You doing all right, Yuri? Yeah, he's just, uh, he's just thinking about reading a note. All right. You ready to read it? Yes. All right. All right. Walt's note. They say love is a mysterious. No one was more loving and caring than my friend Brittany. Her love could truly cut like a knife, right to the heart. I first remember meeting Brittany. Little did I know, as a man of little hope for this world, that my life would be turned upside down. Brittany did that to me. She did that for a lot of us. Brittany loved animals. I recall a time where she was seen giving out lanterns to a 600 pound bear and a very hungry looking wolf. I suppose no matter where, no matter your stance in life, Brittany was there to bring light where there was dark. Bring hope where there was none, give love even though we thought we did not deserve it. Well, Mr. Brittany, I will continue to light lanterns for you as you had done for me. Rest easy among the eternal light of hope. I will find you soon. Wow, that's beautiful. And Walt we'll wrote that? I believe so. Do you think we should wake him up? Maybe we'll let him rest. Are you feeling better, Yuri? I'm sobbing a little bit. It's okay. It's, it sucks what happened. What is your number? Um, it is, hold on. Uh, 104. Yuri, if you ever feel bad about it, you can just... You can talk to me. I, I'm not going to hurt you if you feel bad about it. I'm not a horrible person. It sucks what happened, and I would never wish it on anyone. But it's just what happened. And unfortunately, you were in a situation where you probably had adrenaline going through and you didn't know what to do. In your defense, I probably, I probably would have sacrificed other people to save myself. I could have stopped it. You could have, but you would have died, Yuri. You wouldn't be here and Brittany wouldn't have had the last three weeks she had without you. Frank wouldn't have been here. None of them would have made it out. If I it wasn't could have for saved you. them, even if it meant giving my own life. But you wouldn't have. You know he would have killed them. I know you know he would have killed them. Look how weak Brittany was. You really think she would have made it out of there without you? He did worse things to her than you ever did. You tried to stop it. Don't take it out on yourself, Yuri. It sucks what happened. You can only grow. It just makes you a better doctor. I know what it's like to do things you wouldn't normally do, Yuri. So don't don't feel bad if you manipulate it like you say. I know you. I know all about that. It's these. What happened? I don't want to get into it. Yuri knows all about. It. I think she I know. knows. So I, I've been I'm... there, Yuri. You, you know, you you in these bad moments, and you know horrible people having an influence on you when you don't know any better. 
these things happen, but it, that wasn't you, if that if that helps. It wasn't. You're, we all know it wasn't you. Everyone does. I suppose as Lil said, it could be the start of a new chapter. Absolutely. You just learn from these things. If it's not the life you want to lead, then don't take that path. You can go wherever you want. You have so many opportunities, Yuri, and people trust you. They know you. You really think you'd still be a doctor if Dolores didn't trust you? Yeah, it sucks what happened, and what you did, you know, it wasn't right. But it doesn't make you a horrible human. Look at how you've... Look what you've done. You saved me, Yuri. You saved me. And you've done medical things on Brittany. Right. And look, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, and you know it. From what I got told by John, I, I stopped breathing for two minutes. Duh. Don't be too harsh on yourself. It sucks, but it's just grief. We're all going through it differently. And we, and we can't go sleep backwards. by the grave. Exactly. We go forward like a train. Well, if you feel like you've hit, like a train. <laughs> you know what I mean. I know what you mean. If you feel like you've hit rock bottom. Bottom, you can only go up. Yeah, that's right. Rock bottom, because the shovel can't break the the, the rock. I feel like I've been hit by a tree. Exactly. Dream. You're gonna feel like that emotionally, and probably physically for a while. But drinking's not gonna make you feel better. Maybe for what, ten minutes. But getting over it and dealing with it and becoming a better person will make you feel better for years. Helping people, saving people. If that's what makes you happy, then just do it. Go out, save people, put yourself on the line. You do it, I see it every day. Yuri, remember that time we had, we went out to take photos and a uh, Mr. Sinner <laughs> was trapped under the bed? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Remember that? We were in a whole lot of trouble there, but you, uh, you know, we, you were doing everything you could to try and get Sinner out from under that bed, but that bed just would not let him go. And then, Siri. and then when Squiz Taylor arrived with his gang and they were wanting to take me, you know, take me away, you know, you didn't run away. You were right there with me as the mountain man blew them all to smithereens. You didn't run away. And despite all the weird things I've heard about you, I've always remembered that. I know you're good at heart. You've got a good heart, Yuri. You've got a big, loving, deep heart. Spasiba. Thank you. All of you. We knew you before it all happened. It's just unfortunate. Steampunk Waltz taking scared. Britney's death pretty hard by the looks of it. I couldn't imagine someone telling me to do something or I was going to fucking die. What the hell are you meant to do? I can't just give up. I would have been terrified. Well, that's right. I'm just glad Brittany was able to make it out of there alive. That wasn't her last thing. I heard that she died holding people's hands and saying goodbye. That's how I wanted her to die. That's how she needed to die. If she died in those labs, might have been a different story, but she didn't, Yuri. You managed to save her in some way to bring her round. So that she could talk to the people she loves before she finally said goodbye. Oh, I mean, look at this Zozo. She stand. was um, she was kidnapped, and then she was like, yes, it's like she was flowers kept she hostage for like days the at the very least, and like she'll always be here. Brittany really advice. not treated right, and then Spools people forced for Yuri to experiment on her, like medically. Um. And there was this whole operation with the law department to save her from this guy who he was like Carry on in her he turned out he was like a serial killer and then yeah. he was he was hanged. Yeah, it was pretty hectic. I wasn't directly involved. My other character Valdemar was accused of maybe being the guy that kidnapped her, but I had Let's nothing to do with it. It was pretty grim. I ran into them as they when they had found her in the forest as Valdemar because I because she was. Dome's daughter and, you know, Valdemar was friends with Dome, so he's, like, felt compelled Actually, to go out and yeah. look. Carry I apologize. And, um, I apologize, it was pretty. Yes. I apologize, Brittany. I apologize, Frank. 
Maxine. I'm sorry. Can I tell you something, Yuri? Brittany uh. sent me a letter before she died. She finally learned to uh, write. Did you know that? I did not. She never hated you. She thought you what you did was right. She doesn't blame you for what happened to Maxine or what happens to Frank. In fact, she was completely clueless. She just told me that she's glad that you made it out alive. You're right. Brittany was like a daughter to me. And um, it's unfortunate what happened to her, but... She always was happy. Even after the experiment, she was happy. She, she was not dull. She was happy. Brittany doesn't get upset. She doesn't... She doesn't do any of that. She's happy. You didn't change her. You didn't do anything wrong to Brittany. Yeah, she might have acted different, but she was still happy. Mm -hmm. Alright, y'all keep an eye on him. Yuri, get better. I gotta go I now. Will, George. If you have any someone to talk to, alright? Have a good night, everybody. Will, George. I better go on patrol. I'll leave him to it. I've, I've said my part. It'll be okay. I see all the machete. Yo, go, George. Yep, yeah, just a. I said my bit to Yuri, and now I'm just oh, okay. keep an eye. So your binoculars out. So I thought you were looking at someone. Oh, that man on the the horse just he kept looking at me with his binoculars. So I was taking a okay. look back. Yeah, I think I'm um, weird leg. dealing with someone. Oh, yeah, I've seen him around. What's his deal? Uh, apparently he was on a boat, fell off a boat, a, 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 a snapping turtle bit his leg off. Jesus. Something like that. That would not be a fun time. Now he's looking for his boat because he's got something inside it that he wants. And apparently it looks really nice. But his boat was coming from Mexico, what's weird. Because oh, you don't need a boat to go from Mexico. We've been getting any reports of trouble happening around the country? Ah, uh, not at all. Oh dear, quiet one. Oh, it is. Is that right, Squeeze? Huh? You don't need a boat to go from Mexico, do you? Yeah, if you want to go. I don't know. I've never taken a boat from Mexico. You take a boat some other places, I don't know that much. I don't know what you're talking about. Nah, never. Quiet night, eh? Yeah. It's fucking interesting. No, it is. Well, there'd be at least five bank robberies going on. Hopefully, so. Yeah, maybe. Come on, Judy.
Well. I should probably. I should probably go without it. Come on. Look how bad it's made me. <laughs> well, might be time to go on patrol to see what's happening. Vegetables. Mm -hmm. What was your name again, ma'am? Uh, just call me Rose. Rose. That's it, Rose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did we want to pick up Harkness? Yeah, let's see. It. Let's see if he's free. Maybe just you know, maybe pop over to him a ranch or something. I haven't been there in a hot minute. Did you see where he went? Is that him there? <laughs> That's. Where is Harkness? I think, he, I think he. I think he went down the street. Let's. Easy. Those are. There's still quite a few people here. Rose. Trying to remember, it's hard to remember everyone's names. Rose. I recognize the player name. Harkness, hey, you George. doing anything? I have. Oh, no, not anything. I think, I think Lotus needs a quick chat with you. Very important chat. Oh. Oh, good Very thing we. Important. Good thing we checked before we headed out. Yeah. Yeah, come with you. Oh, just talking to sorry, mate. All good. Yep, I know that's about. Where do you want to chat? Uh, just at the church. Okay. Actually, in the saloon here. <laughs> oh, it's Get hard. Way. It's hard, Zozo. And the longer you're on the server, the more people. You watch your tone, Squiz. What'd he say? Bye. Yeah, we're gonna have a chat later, Squiz, you and I. About what? Get in here now. <laughs> I'm not going in there with you. Get in here now, you donut in bastard. What are you gonna do to me? You're probably gonna beat me up. Just bring your ass in he here. He said he wanted a chat here. You. Okay, let me, um. Park, park your wagon. wagon right there and just bring your ass in here now. Park your wagon! He's just not even a please. No, you don't deserve it. Get in here now. Fuck. <laughs> I don't like where this is going. I told you the other day, okay, at Richard's funeral, that today wasn't the day. Today is the day that starts, okay? Where is the Wait, fucking what? commander? I don't know. What do you I mean you don't him. know? He told me he went fishing. That was the last I heard. He went fishing. All right, is the yeah, commander in America? With... I don't know. He's fishing. You seem to not know a lot about this commander, Squiz. It's because I... Let him fish in peace. Let him fish in Derby. peace. Yep, catching fish. Catching fish. Maybe he should be sleeping with the fishes. No, maybe you should be sleeping with the fishes, Luke. Yeah, well, you tried and you failed. No, okay. I haven't even tried. You tried on Guama and you failed. I okay. didn't. I well, obviously didn't fail. I'm sorry. I'm going to ask you one more time. What's the commander doing here in America? He's not in America. He's fishing. Where is He's he? fishing. I told you, the last I heard from him is he went fishing. He put yeah, a bucket right. of bananas, some bait, and went fishing. <laughs> all right. no I haven't seen him since. Uh, Why? All. Is he in America? No, I'm just asking. Why were you asking if he was in America? Because. What are you doing here in, this, in America? Oh, I'm allowed here. No, you're not, aren't you? Just uh, doing business. You're doing business. What kind of business, Swiss? Just business, mate. Making donuts? Yep, you could say that. Yeah, right. Why are the boats closed to Guama? Exactly. Why do you want to know? Answer the damn you... question, <laughs> Squiz. Thieves. You Americans. Greedy. Take Stealing stuff. what? That's all I have to say. More of your precious cocaine No, that's for leaves. you to find out, for me to know, yeah, right? I was... I was there, Squiz, picking damn cocaine leaves. No, no they were flowers. Yeah, were flowers. My Bullshit, ass. they were flowers. George, you loved it. Because I didn't know any better. Y'all exactly. took me for a 
goddamn ride, taking advantage nice, of a man. I gave you a, I gave you an island, a nice bed, bananas, boats. But you were lying donkeys. to me. You knew who how's I you, was. How's your donkey going? My donkey? What donkey? Your donkey named George. He's, I couldn't bring him back. He's probably out in the hey, jungle Swiss. up there. How does that feel? Okay. Do you, you want to not hit me in the foot where I've been shot multiple times by you guys? One by Mr. Wolf? One, one there? Yeah, Marcus one Wolf me. and the oh, guy right, behind right. me. Yeah. I shot he you in the other leg. put me behind that remember? chicken coop and shot me in the leg twice. With and I'll do it again. You shot Don't my know. horse, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you, you remember talk that. Talk to Hughes. Talk to me. He's talking to you. Hi, Hughes. You took advantage yeah, did of me. your horse with an explosive round. Yeah, he did. And the name's in our... We got yeah, you. No, you. No, you chased me down a cliff and fell off with me. We both broke our legs. You took advantage of me. No, I didn't. You did. Had me... No. Had me working fields. Making me think At I was... You weren't... Making me think I was something else. At least you weren't starving, Enrique. I'm calling that. I don't care how you dress it up. thoughts coming back to you, Enrique? It don't matter how you dress it up. It's all right, Mr. Bean. That's not... At least you weren't starving, mate. That is not my name. That's... You don't just go hiding all the bad stuff you did by presenting a handful of bananas. I'm not a bad guy. No, oh, but you've done a lot of bad things, haven't you? You could say a few. And if you're covering for the commander, if he's here and you ain't telling something <laughs> about him, you're just going to make it a whole lot worse for you. I told you, I don't know where the commander is. He's probably out fishing. He's probably just relaxing on a nice sandbar out in the ocean, drinking some alcohol, catching some fish, having a good time. No, George, you could have been doing that too. Sandbar, you say? Yeah, I don't know. There's lots of sandbars out in the ocean, like little islands. Well, George, what do you say we go patrolling the waters? I... You're ready for. If we if we take yeah, it George, slow... how, you want to you want to go on a boat again, George? Shut up! You're lucky, I'm short. Ah! Don't hit me! You son hey. of a bitch! Yeah, is it bringing back memories? Fuck you, Squiz! No, no, no. No, don't do it. Don't shoot me. Do you want another bullet in your ass? Oh, no. No, I don't want another bullet. Can you, you George? Off. George said he would love to go on a boat. Continue. You answer George's questions, okay? You owe that, you owe that to him, at least. You bastard. Taking a mentally, a, 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 taking advantage of someone, bringing an illegal product advantage. into our country, getting you my friend, George. getting Clive Freeman get killed. He deserved it. Uh, he didn't deserve a bastard. goddamn bad thing at all. Hey, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Please don't shoot me. I'm gonna shoot you. <laughs> What are you going to yeah. do with me? Yes. Are we going I'm on the saying. oceans? We just want to ask questions. That's all we want to ask. Just okay, please. okay. I don't know where the commander is, all right? Has Tell he been in contact with you? I heard. No. How can he be in contact with me if he said he was going oh, on I'll boat? send you a letter or send a person a no, I telegram. I, I don't know. Letters. You're going to do us a favor, Squiz. Okay? Yeah, what? If you see the commander, you tell us. Okay? Otherwise, it's going to be big trouble for you. What happens if I don't? Parked here for so long. Looks like Ains got himself stay a down, wagon. Stay <laughs> down. He's stealing my wagon. Uh, that's with us, Mr. Ames. <laughs> All right, Squiz. Oh, Are we going on the water? I think it'd be great. Okay. George would love it. Yeah. Well, I highly suggest you. Uh... What happens if I don't tell you? What are the consequences? Oh, well, there's a lot. In Sissica for a long time. You know what? Let's there's take him out on a boat. You know, my my anger, <laughs> Actually, the... my anger will be overpower my fear. 
If that's what you want to do, let's do it. Let's oh, do I it. Got a you know what? So I got, I got, I got a time to kill. All right. Let's go. Okay, okay. I'll follow Thank you guys. I'm going on my way now. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. You sure, George? Last time you were scared, you were nearly crying like a little girl. Shut ah. up! Okay, I'm sorry. Let's... Get over here now, in front of me. Oh. Okay, we can't, simple... we can't go out that door. Never mind. You know, fucking, you're gonna have to get teeth replaced. The wagon's here. over here. Knocking me in the face. Uh, Mr. Ames, where's that wagon? Ah, uh, I forgot where I parked it. Oh, <laughs> what a My shame. wagon, that cost $5,000. Oh, it was your way. You're the one that parked illegally. Yeah. No, it wasn't illegally. I got, uh, four stop it by Lou. So you, you thought, no. oh, hey, Lou, maybe I'm, I'm just gonna park it. No, you just jump right up. Well, That's I don't right. know where I parked it. All right, where are we, we going on a boat? We're going on a little boat trip, Squiz. We have okay. to have a little lot of catching up. Yeah, yeah. Right, we? Which one? I want a road. want a road. Let's go here. Okay. Go here. Uh, Mr. Hughes, I need to say a message that none of the other sheriffs can hear. <laughs> Mr. Hughes, you can trust them. You can trust them. Okay. Yeah, I mean, all right, come on, man. Yeah. Hey, that's Rich going. It's all right, Hughes. Huh. Sorry, what's your name again, partner? Cow Wiles, we haven't met. I don't know you. You don't know me, but we've both been around for a while. Nice to make your acquaintance. Okay, nice to meet you. Wow. What have you got right, for me? This fucking dude, um, Commandant. I mean, who knows he is? You guessed it. Commandant from fucking Guam. What? He he was in Valentine. He approached a friend of mine. He said, we ought to get three people, rough you up a bit, and tell you that he's going to get you in his cell in Guam. And, uh, use you for his own pleasure you take from that whatever you want jesus christ um, look i i got no stake in this man I, i'm helping a friend out i never i don't work in guama i never did work in guama i don't give a damn what's going on between you and the commandant but whatever it is uh i take it you guys got beef no oh, he's a horrible he's he's the devil in disguise well, look, I'm sure he is, and it sounds like it's your problem, not mine, to be honest. But I didn't want to fuck with him because he gave me shiver down my spine when I was talking to him. So I'm just hoping this means my friend's out of shit. I'm sorry that he's coming for you. I feel it's important to let you know that he did tell this person this information in Valentine, so he is around. No, uh, thank you so, for telling me. Yeah, so hang with your boys. Stay safe. Pleasure meeting you. Fucking Cal out. I don't want anything to do with this. No, no worries. Thank you. Thank you, partner. Hey, if you're talking to him, fucking tell him to spread his own fucking messages, will you? I'm sick of being other people's <laughs> bitch. Like. Okay, I will do. Shoot, did you shoot? Farewell, sheriffs. Got the other let's go. Alright, let's go, Hughes. Before we go, Huck, let's just watch Squiz for a second. Yeah. Originally, I wanted to talk to Mr. Hughes, but Mr. Squiz came right to our doorstep. I'm walking around, alright, guys. You're gonna stay I'm... here? No way to run. Huck, let's watch him, Hughes. Oh no, I lost yeah. my wagon. Yeah, it was well, fucking him, Lou. It was fucking I mean, him. I know. I know. That's what I was originally going to He tell says he was about. getting, he was asking people in town oh, to get a group together oh. and rough me up and to warn me that he's coming for me. He's going to get me back in that cell in Guama. That's what they said to me well, as well. I don't know. Mother. Said, God damn. Said, it was him. It was. They said, don't catch your boys. Do don't so let him catch you by like yourself. And that's ex Blackhand, and they're scared of him. Even yeah, the Mad Dog was there. Yeah. Jesus and Christ. We got to. Look, they asked me what happened in Guama, okay? And I'll be honest, Mr. Hughes, I'm sick of lying. I'm sick of bullshitting. I, mean, I told him. No, I've they, I I've captured one of our officers being dangled off a and, of you know, year. while he uh, had they amnesia. Pass. They made him do work and pretend he was <laughs> someone else. I bet you didn't know. think he was someone else. I go, they, they did some uh, damage to that man. I go, they also killed Freeman. Nothing. I go, oh, I'm, I'm not, sorry. I can't stand for that shit. <laughs> no, that's... that's that's you don't Please, do that don't to someone those. else. No, and they said you should be very scared of him. I said, you know what? What the hell? I Tell him I want him. On a cigarette. If he takes me to Guam, good, me because then I can get closer to him. I don't want to go back, Lou. I know, but this all has to end sometime, Mr. Hughes. It does. I. 
Uh, it's either us. I had a feeling he'd be he'd be coming. Times he gets shot. But, yeah. but just to hear it, it, it makes it more real. Exactly. Let's not uh, say hey, about it. it uh... Okay, let's keep this between you and I. I told the other. I told Ames and Harkness. Yep. If I was to go missing, you know what it, you know what's going on. Okay. I'll tell tell Harkness and Ames the same thing. I tell them exactly what happens. If someone's after you, and if you were to go missing, we're in oh, Guam. Oh, yeah. Oh, right, let's just, let's drive him yeah, nuts yeah, a little bit out on a boat. See if he a lot of slips in anything. Actually, around yeah. Mark as well. Hey, around. who's that, guys? That's him. That guy that's him. That's him. Why oh, they're running after him? Stop. <laughs> Who the hell was that? Where'd he go? Which way did he go, Lou? I think this way, where Harkness is. <laughs> no, that's not them. Did that's a man in a poncho ride past? No, we haven't no. seen him. Not this way, Lou. Fucking same. Right, yeah, keep other him other fucking way. far away from yeah. us. Oh, sorry, sorry. Did he head up the other way towards Emerald Ranch? Oh, oh sorry, Lou. Uh, sorry. That's okay. Time a bit jumpy. That's okay. Lou, are you down there? I'm good. Oh, oh. my God, Lou. Oh. Hold on, I'm coming. That's right, I'm good. I'm coming up. Oh no, not again. Oh my god, my bad. He's got in a way to sit through bus. God damn it! Just make sure Squeeze doesn't get away. He might come back. He's been running around. Yeah. At least we know it's him now. Oh no, Zozo! Oh. At least we have confirmation. God damn it. Get the bus. Well, off search office. We'll get him next time. Oh, that's very nice of the the people on the train. Where's where's Squiz going? He's still intent. Well, he's running off now. Oh. Jump on Squiz. Let's go on our horses. Who are you chasing? We'll tell you later. What do you mean? Suspect. Wanted. For what? Oh look, right. my hat up here. Right, test it. Something. It was very small. It is. It's Should I get Lucy to go with Tessa for now? Um... It was there another patrol that just came in? Yeah, I think it was the St. Denis, uh, group. Okay. Let go of them. Fucking commander. Where we, uh, I think you need to shut up. 
Where were you? Oh, uh, shit. Where were we setting off from? Hey, good. Like, deal we're going with the water. Ames, we're going with the water. You always smell like shit. Uh, why? We get the recruit to go up, Tessa. Don't get scared, George. Oh, you can. Yeah, I mean, yeah if you want. Oh, uh, again, it's. I'm trying to stay up the sheriff's. Uh, it's not up to house. me. I'm not. It's apartment. That's some item up right there, Eva. Tech chest got me, so. Hold up. Slow down. I'm stuck in my head for a second. Mr. Rose, if you're gonna come with us, you didn't see anything. That's what you need to know. Oh, I can okay. go up, Tessa. Perhaps. That's what so they're trying to say. Up to you. Like up to you. Stream, you can if you want. It's already better for you. Tessa. We're out bastards. Ah, uh, shut up. You, who are you to talk about corruption? <laughs> I'm not with the law. You can't say corruption. You don't have to be part of the law to be corrupt, you idiot. I'm just a good guy. Yeah, good oh, guy. And I'm the president of the United yeah, States. Yeah, Senator, go back on Tessa. Yeah, exactly. Yes, hello, President. I'll be your bodyguard. I've been shot enough, so I'm good for the job. Go to the waterfall. I don't think so. Uh, I don't like that one. Why is that? Oh no, Dex! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait, is that the one George fell off once? I think I've fallen off everything. Oh, yes. was that? Um, I draw that uh, waterfall. I remember falling off a waterfall with Hughes. Yeah. Was that a waterfall? Wait, no, that wasn't a waterfall, that was a stream. Yeah. Uh... Don't go straight, don't go straight, don't go straight. We expect them to be followed by people? Who are those guys behind? We got some people with us, Jim. Let's see. Stop, Garrett. Get your fishing rod out, Squiz. Okay. Just fishing. I've seen this dock before. Yeah. Huh. I may know who, uh... Yeah, sorry, Has that boat always been there? The no. I should went back to Valentine. What boat? On the, on the river. That's a nice boat. Yeah. Who's on there? New plan. Come with us, Donut Boy. George, I'm not even that boat always anymore. been here? Shut up, Donut Boy. You're with us. Let's go. I've been eating veggies. Good for you, fat ass. What was that, Donut Boy? What was that, Donut Boy? What? I can't hear you from back there, Donut Boy. Yeah. Hey, that is a nice boat. That's him. That's him. What? Hey, that's who? Where is he? Squiz, come with me. That boat looks familiar. Mal... Malvana? Who's what was that? Shot? Oh. He's stand, getting dragged. Stand what? in front. Stand in front. Stand what the in fuck? Front. What am I going to get gun pointed at my head for? Because that person on the boat will value your life. If you shoot someone of us, I'll put one in the back of your head. Guns down, guns down. Why are you putting your guns down? Aim at the boat. Put your hand down. It's people blind. I know. Just put your guns down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just fishing, guys. Be nice if he um, gave us the boat. Any fish out there? Yeah. 
He tries anything. I think there's a George Hughes out there somewhere. Shoot it. Shoot it. Who's that out there, Lou? You know who it is. Who else is it? Uh, it's, it's, it's who you think it is. Is this the only boat we've got? Yeah. What are you talking about? The guy of it. Oh, you'll find out. I just another boat? don't want to do anything with the people behind us. Yeah, right in front of us. There's no one behind us. I think you beat. There is. There is. Oh, fuck there. Jesus Christ. Where? Right behind what us. A, what a nice sunset. I can't see him. Oh! Do we lie? You're not going to get out there. Oh. What is Lou doing? Is he going crazy? Maybe we should, uh... Are you making the boat go capsize? Need another boat, don't we? Oh, hold on, alright. Jump on, if you can. This is gonna go bad. Oh, God. Yeah, George, um, jump on, George. Yeah, no, we need a different boat. Oh. No, it's fine. George, get on. Jump on. It'll oh, work. Oh, God. Don't be scared, George. What's the worst that could happen? We float up on a nice... Oh, hold, hold aim, stop, right? <laughs> oh. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Get on, George. No, this is not good. Dissy girl. No, this is not good. Balancing, it's fun. All right, Hughes, sit down if you can. Oh. George, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, God. We just, I don't know. Hang on, I'm just sure of armor. Oh, Ames, good? please right. be careful, Ames. Yeah, I'm good. I've done this before. Have you... No! Oh, what the hell? Oh, he's fine! Oh, God! And now he's shooting, okay! Hey, at least I got a meat shield in front of me. Battling hard, oh, boys. No. Oh, no. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yes, keep going. Ah, no! Ah. Help! Help! Oh, God! Oh, God, no! Thanks for the resub, Ash! Oh, no! Ames! Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, someone made it on! Oh! Help! Oh, Ames! Get on. You son of a bitch! George, get on! Champ, please! Please stop the boat, please! Bastard. Oh no! <laughs> Ames! George! Ames! Where do we George. grab on? Come and jump off back here! I'm, co oh, I'm coming! <laughs> Come back to the side of the boat! This is the worst way to fit the swimming! Hey, this is a nice boat. What the- ah, How do I get that down? You, you just- I don't know, you climb up. What's going on, George? Yeah, over here, George. I'm, I'm standing. Okay. I can't get up! It, but he's moving! Stop moving the boat! Uh, we're not! Okay, hold on. I'm trying it. Hey, it's okay, moving! Jump! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Left side. Oh! Don't, don't hold. Can you jump up? E muscle? Uh, uh, in space. Oh, space muscle? It's George. I George. can't see you. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oh! There you go. Oh, now where'd Lou go? I think Lou's dead. Lou! Damn, Squeeze got. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Oh my god. I think I'm gonna drown. <laughs>
I think I better go back to shore. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Canoe, please help me! Please! Please don't pass me by! Please! Please! I need your help! Please slow down! I'm in the love department! You! Ah! Oh, no! Oh! No! <laughs> I <laughs> uh, use Q and Z, so. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what is this, the end of Titanic? <laughs> Imagine if this was like the end. That's that's the end. That's the end of George Hughes. That's it. Permadeath. That's how his story ends. He tries to get the commander with her on but fucking drowns because the boat he can't get on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Our heart will go on. Don't let go, Jack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let go, George. <laughs> All right. While while we wait for the timer, um, I will. I am Dave. That was so scuffed. <laughs> I did. I thought I was trying to press E, but you had to do space bar. But the boat was still like moving for me. All right. While the timer's going, I'm just going to quickly go to the bathroom, and I'll be right back. Oh, all right, I'm back. Still 80 seconds left. My God. 
<laughs> also, I can't remember if I said it probably before, but thank you for the resub, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> had a continuation of that whole Guam arc happen and then just, it was so silly it's so funny <laughs> otherwise he's like I can't find my boat <laughs> it's like we find him out on the water on this big boat like, oh there it is <laughs> <laughs> oh ah! Unhand <coughs> Unhand me <laughs> Come back here You better run you son of a bitch Both of you pendejos need to stop looking for my jefe. Pardon? Both of you pendejos, stop looking for my jefe. See? What's a pendejo? You are. <laughs> a jefe? What? Hands up. Hands up. Oh, God, no. I have two hostages. Stop it. Déjate. Please. You walk away. You walk away. You can go. Adonde? Lou! Tell your pendejos to stop looking for my head. You, you leave him alone. Well, bueno, pero dile, tell them, stop looking. For my fucking jefe. Entiendes? You understand? Oh my god, everybody's here! You stop looking for my jefe, see? You tell, you tell this pendejo right here. Stop looking for my jefe. Please, you gotta let us see him. He's probably gotta get him. We gotta get the water out of him. Save Lou! Yeah, yeah. Hang on. Get you guys free. He's gonna need to go to the hospital. Doctor. <laughs> Thank you on site. I try. Love to hear it as well, Gazozo. Roll him on his side, hit his back, try to get the water out. Yeah. Give, give him a pat on the back. You see it. Get him up on the shore, get him out of this water. Is there a, anyone loaded? Let us load it off. Everything good here? That's all good. Boat what trouble! Happened? What happened? Boat trouble. You should not put too many people in a canoe. <laughs> yeah. I've tried that before. Once it's teetering, that's it. Ah, oh, yeah, it doesn't work out. What are you all up to? Well, we got a. Lou hit. He took a spill off the canoe. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Lou, are you okay? I'm okay. Is all good? You don't need any help? Ah, oh, we're okay at the moment. Alright, take it easy. 
Thank, Thank you. you very much, though, sir. Much appreciated. What up? Uh, we went to the boat, some man opened fire on us, he jumped off the edge, and... He pulled me to on. shore and then hogtied me. Did he pull you to the shore? Yeah. No, I hit him. I hit him right in the back of the head, almost. Oh, I think it was him. It was the fellow in the poncho again, but I, I didn't get Shit. a look at the leg. I shot him. And then he uh, tied me up, pulled me through the water, tied me up, and then ran off. Oh, and then that lady hell. was there, calling him her jefe or something. Okay. Yeah, well, we got a show on. We, uh, with Taylor, and we got ambushed by all the associates. Yep, so we know, um, who I assume he's working for him. making sure that Taylor got let like those, go. Those people following us, we're actually yes. helping him. Yes. Uh, Marva, uh, Caldern and, um... Caldern's the one that warned me about him! Yeah, he they threatened to shoot us. We didn't let Squiz go. They're, squiz, they're scared of him. Yes, they are scared of him. He's the scared of Squares or the man no, fella? the commander. Oh, so they're just helping the Squares? Yeah, I'll, t I'll have to tell you in a second. Oh, oh wait, there's no doctor. We'll take it to Rhodes. You got any doctors yeah. around? No, nothing's right, coming. Who's that? There's no being alert put out. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who are you? Who Who's the that? Who the fuck are you? Come on now. Hello? Is everything alright with that feather? Yeah, he's just- he fell off a canoe! Fuck, is that you, George? Yeah? Who's that? Holy fuck, it's Honey. Honey? Oh, shit, Honey. What the hell are you doing here? I was taking my wagon out, doing a bit of hunting, you know? Holy what? shit. Honey. Jesus, beach is popular. Yep, yeah, we just- too, Don't put too <laughs> oh, many people shit. on a canoe. <laughs> Yeah, we uh, played on the canoe too many people. Yeah, Lou here, he, took a, he fell off the canoe. Oh my goodness, alright. Wait, is that Lou? That's me. Hi, hi. Tony! Good to see you again. Oh! It's good to see you, friend. Have you, have you been in better shape before, holy fuck. There he is. Yeah. You heading the roads? Yeah, so we're going to see you. Yeah. This beach is popular. <laughs> Where are we heading? I'll find it. My goodness. I wasn't expecting stuff like this to happen tonight. You're gonna be all right. Yeah, but the water's out. Yeah, I took one of them. Bullet went straight through me, but knocked me in the water. Actually, when I was underwater, I saw a cannon. You saw a what? A cannon. It was right next to me. Cannon? Yeah. How did I get back on shore? You were on the- you were washed up on the beach next to me, and I, I think it was the commander that pulled us to shore. Blue. 
The things we learn. Yeah! Don't play canoes. You again, Honey? Mm hmm. How you been? No, I'm just trying to get my head around the ch ever changing world, fella. <laughs> You're right? Mm hmm. It's, it's good to see an old face, you know. It's good to hear your voice. Yeah, absolutely. Holy shit. How you been, George? You been good? Oh. That horse looks like a fine uh, good for the most part, but just. You know. Good as being a subject. I'm kept busy, <laughs> that's for sure. It's so cool when you see like characters again that you haven't seen for ages and they've been they were around since like the start it's so cool like seeing seeing marcus wolf again will be amazing you seem to have your hands full oh i just gotta make sure lou's okay yeah absolutely absolutely We're gonna see Marcus Wolf again at some point. Brox is coming back as Tommy Tim Tam. We're gonna see some other people. What the hell's happening here? George, help me! George, help me! I swear it's a witch. Oh, George, oh, George. Who is that? The witch has got me or something. I really can't stop walking. I don't know what that is. We're in shambles right now, oh, things. No. Oh no. Where's... Where is he? Oh, he's here. What? Yeah, last time. You're gonna have to fly him out, I reckon. No, yeah. wait, hold on, let oh, me try and... Out. Sorry. What right. the? Oh god, I... Oh! What the fuck? Hey, he's with the doctor. Oh, thank god. Lou! Lou? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah! Yeah, I'm good. I'm alright. Jesus. All the water's gone. Just needed a bit of rest. Ah, uh, yeah, understandable! So, uh, how are you doing? Oh, God. Um, my heart's racing! That That is one way to... That's a one crash course of getting used to the water again. Yep. Oh, at least we know what we're looking for now. Ma Malvina? Malvina. Malvina? I don't know how you... It's a pretty big Malvina boat. And that peg leg bust. Fuck. And then he's got an associate with him, that lady. Yeah, that, I didn't see much of her. She called him... She called us Pendejos, and she called him her jefe or something. A jefe? Isn't that a cow? Well, yeah, he got... He I think she said jefe? Hefe, uh, hefe, hefe. And I, I was asking, you know, what's a pendejo? And she was just like, you guys. I'm like, well, but that, what? But what? Wait, I know a guy called Pendejo. Oh, this, it's actually a name? I think so. I'm so, I'm confused. I'd have to ask around about what that name is. So people came and grabbed Squiz, and we lost the commander. He ran off. All right. Well, I think today wasn't the day, Mr. Hughes. Well, we've learnt a lot, though. We have. This is... Why can't I get out of... <laughs> Ow! Hello, Slappy! This fell through the... Thank you for All the right. raid. We we just had a crazy right. nautical I mean, adventure. Well, this is some good news. At least we know... Thank you for the raid, mate. He's here in America. I take it Squiz didn't know he was here in America. No, he seemed pretty 
shocked the whole time. So we know yeah. the boat. Yep. We we but, we've had confirmation on who the commander is. We know he doesn't the black was it the Black Hand Mafia? Well, look, to be honest, they Callum told me that they're scared of him and I think they were gonna kill his family if they didn't do what they were told. So look, okay. I understand. So they just really look after Squiz. They don't even they're not even looking after Squiz. So yeah. Gentlemen, uh, yeah. sorry to interrupt. I need to uh, I need to quickly go and do some paperwork. I've just been called away. So, uh, no worries, you all mate. good? You good, Lou? I'm good, mate. I'm good. All right. Thank, uh, thank you. Thing. Appreciate it, mate. Thanks for the help. That's all right. George, you all right? I'm all right. Just, yeah, that's a lot to lot to process. All right. I need to I need to rush off now. Uh, Jack's no still around if you need him, but uh, you all stay safe. I'll Still, honor would be out in a sec. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, mate. Yeah, look. I'm not going to fault them for this. I know they were obviously the commander was there, and they can't they can't be there looking like they're helping us. Yeah. Okay, at, at the end of the day, they did give us information. That's true. Yeah, Cal came straight to tell me about that, and so yeah. look, I understand from their point they had to make it look like you know, stop the commander or you know whatever, but they. Cal told me they're scared of him because he's always answered to Mad Dog, but to see them, even Mad Dog was there, answering to the commander. Jesus. We've got, we've got something big on our hands here. Oh, God. All right. Well, the main thing is everyone's okay. We've learned some things. Yeah. And we can just keep an eye on that store and go from there. We can't let the commander build an army here. No, no! Think he can come here and sell guama tobacco? I mean, I wouldn't mind the cigars, but the cocaine? No. It's not okay. It's not. We were. Uh, I think you and I will uh, solve this, Mr. Hughes. Yeah. We'll get that bastard. So, we'll, we'll we'll look, more information will come, and it, there'll That's be a better it. time, and hopefully. No, we'll have a better boat than a canoe. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I guess well, when I'm out on patrol, I'm going to be keeping an eye on the on the water. A anytime I go past, I'll take a look. Yep. And keep an eye on it. Keep an eye out for that peg leg bastard. Yeah, now we know what we're looking for. Yep, I hope a shark gets his other leg. Good luck hiding a leg like that. Exactly. And that lady, she had an eye patch. You know, Spanish sound lady, eye Good. patch. That's it. Look. Harkness, yes. Cow and all them, I'm pretty, look, they're scared of Commander. Yeah, I know. He said, they said they were. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure because the Commander was there, they were just putting on a little show. Yeah. Let's, let's leave it at that. Okay. Oh. Cow did have a word with me. He said that they'll go after them and they don't want to die. I understand. That's understandable. Okay. I'm not going to hold it against them. No, same. Let's all not. Okay. We, we build this case, okay? Oh, good. We build this fucking case, and we get that bastard. Yeah. I shot him. I'm happy about that. <laughs> yep. Good job, Jack. Good. I don't know where I hit him. I saw a lot of blood spurt out. Oh, hope he gets him. another leg replacement. Exactly. All right. That's right. Main thing is everyone's okay. We did everything we could. It's... Yeah, we did. I'm not it's not easy attacking a again. boat with a canoe full of five not... people. Not doing that ever again. But again, thank you, Slappy, for the raid. Rebel Long Assault 2, is that one no of the Rogue see, Squadrons? Mate. And you didn't turn the autosave on! Rebel Assault 2, I... Is that one of the Rogue You're Squadrons? The yeah! God, mm, it takes me back. <laughs> look, let me tell you something, mate. Please... I appreciate please it. Please go and change that coat. But yeah, we've had a... Wait, what did you say? We've had we'll a wild night of RP. We had some. I'm um, man, Lou. Sir, like good I used morning. To be. We had I'm what I would describe as. Gray, mate. I'll just be a minute. Sorry, mate. I, I had what we would describe as, um, uh, like a storyline progression. Like you've got your, you know, you got your B storylines and your C storylines. You know, your your side quests and that. But we had some like George Hughes main plot progression tonight. Where, if people remember the big the start of the year. George Hughes was um, brainwashed and used over in Guam as like essentially like a, a drug army enforcer. Um, 
And then he's, he's ended up, he's come back to America, he's gotten his memories back, he's back in the law department. But the commander, so Squiz Tail and the commander that were fooling him, you know, Squiz is still back in America doing stuff, and now the commander is back. Um, he's missing a leg, he's got like a fake leg, and he's over in America, and he's like, he's after Hughes, and he's like, I think he's trying to like, gear up to be selling Guam and tobacco, and God knows what else. One of the big gangs in the country are scared of him. That's how bad he is. Um, and he's been trying to get people in Valentine to rough up George Hughes. And then we went out to try and get him on his boat just now. But he got away. So it's exciting stuff. So it's been good. It's been a... I did not... I just expected tonight to just be, um, you know, new Lord Department stuff and go to Brittany Blade's funeral. But it's been good. Oh, <laughs> no. Use legs. Lose legs. Before, oh, it's one of those Star Wars before Rogue Squadron, one of those. See, I never, I've never played those old ones, but recently I jumped on my PlayStation 4 for the first time in ages, and I found um, that Super Star Wars was available for cheap, which was like an old arcade game or something, if I'm not mistaken, of the original movie. So I've downloaded that, and I want to start going back and trying some of these really old Star Wars games I never got to play as a kid, so I'll keep an eye out. Alright. So what, yeah, everyone, let's talk at normal or hello. Right. Alright, miss, miss the... Yep. Don't <laughs> lose legs. <laughs> uh, sure. Is someone talking? Uh, probably speak normal. No. Well, let's just all getting closer. Get getting closer. Oh, how do I? Yep, yep. Alright. I still can't hear Hane. I can't either. I don't think he's talking. I don't think he is. Hane. Hane has a confession that if you'd like to talk to us about. No fucking way. What? Oh, no way. Oh, this is, fair enough. This is, this is more of a confession, fellas. Okay, I, yeah, I can hear you. So hear me out. I don't want any bad blood. I don't want you to feel like you've been betrayed or anything. But a long time ago, when uh, one Marcus Wolf used to walk this earth, I guess. I came on board as a new deputy named Clarence Claymore. No fucking way. No way. Right. I remember I'll take you west. <laughs> So that's my confession. Oh, very nice. I was going to give you Iron Jaws horse. I know, I know. I know. Hey, you're, still in the you're still in the department, are you? Currently still in the department. Oh, very nice. Oh! Holy shit. I would definitely take. I mean, it's, it's yeah. been a long time, but I, I thought I'd hold nice. it to at least you three fellas. The honest truth, right? Oh, okay. I appreciate that, mate. Now, I don't want, you know, it's hard times hearing what, uh, I guess, the handful that George has on his plate, but I didn't want to add to that. So, if anything, I'm either here to offer up my services as myself. I don't know. I've done some shit in the past. It's understandable. But Look, I wanted to put that forward to you, fellas. Whatever you've done in the past, mate. That's all in the past. It's all in the past, mate. We're happy to have you on board. Gotta move forward. Yeah, exactly. gotta move forward. Let's just say this, Hone. If fucking Todd Woodman can come under the department, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can yeah. fit right in, mate. I definitely need people. How do I say this? Outside. Also, Woodman? Woodman's yeah, it's under on the west. department. You mean George's ex boyfriend? Woodman? <laughs> <laughs> now that's Squiz Taylor. Oh. <laughs> no wonder he's, yeah. he's all depressed. Yeah. Hmm. I, I can't believe you were Clarence. Donkey, it's been funny, man. Very surprising. He was just like a, seemed like a shy, timid bloke. Yeah. Mm hmm. I even. At the time, I had uh, not the best intent, let's just say that. Things happen. That's fine, mate. Look, yeah. we've had worse, okay? Very true. And I'm actually happy that you're on our side now, mate. Yeah, same. I was just going to say, you know. 
Sometimes it takes a criminal to catch them. Yeah. Very true. Holy oh, fucking shit. I thought I would just blow your mind for a second and yeah. if you, know, <laughs> you want to deal with it, it's up to you. But, nah, I yeah, you we'll take you on. Truth. Look, I don't think we need to do, I don't know, it's up, I, I, maybe the boys might not agree with me, but personally. I'm willing to have it work for us. I don't think that anything needs to be done. At the end of the day, if you were working under Marcus Wolf, I'd definitely Mar take him west. And Marcus Wolf, yeah, Marcus Wolf, you know, trusts your judgment. Yeah. I'll oh, trust you. Then we trust it. <laughs> and also, Marcus Wolf is back. And it is. No fucking way. Is he? Yeah, he has been looking he for him. The, in the flesh? He is, yes. but none of us have seen him yet. He's been looking for me, apparently. Oh. Yes. Is he he wants to. He wants to talk to me. That's not a good thing. <laughs> as long as it's not at a wall. Mhm. Mm oh, my second day on my first day on duty. We got lined up against Blackwater. Oh. Holy shit! I can't wait to see Mr. Wolf. He's gonna <laughs> ship bricks. <laughs> yeah. 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 Want to work for us? We definitely need people. Where me in Georgia. Mhm. Mm the west side of the city, county. Strawberry just keeps so strawberry, getting some bad water, customers. Valentine, Emerald Ranch, all that. Yeah, I know. So, I, mean, I noticed that you have, you know, last time I saw you were changing a bit. But, yeah. you're, you're being honest with us. You know, you're not just part of the department just for the fun of it. Oh, no, you're serious? No, no, I'm quite serious about this, fellas. And, That's okay. good. You know, my, my cousins, they, they since long gone, since, you know, the strange magic happenings in rows where everyone got sick and fell off the place of the you know, face of the earth, but Yeah. Don't worry, I ain't gonna be biased towards my old friends. They took the boat. what they're giving. In some ways I miss the cuzzies, because I remember yeah, when they same. kidnapped me that time. It wasn't personal. They tried their best not to dip my head in the water. <laughs> Look, they were great. Um I'm sorry for dropping you, George. Was that you? <laughs> Was that which one were you? Are you all dressed the same, fella. Come on, man. There, no, there was one in a tiger. Tiger. He was dressed as a lion or something. Oh yeah, about that. Mm. Ah, I won't tell him that one. I mean, Smiley Joe's still around. <laughs> yeah, he's still around. Yeah, look, Smiley Joe is the governor. Simon, no. no, general. What is he? The a governor. Is the governor. And why it's a US Marshal now, somehow. Wow. Okay, how things have changed. What Smiley a. Bro. Holy shit, today has been a turn of events. Yeah. Been... <laughs> Holy shit. We're, I'm we're expecting gonna... Wolf to come walking around that corner any second now. Well, well, well. <laughs> That's what I'm waiting to hear. I want to yeah. see all this paperwork from when he nearly raided the island. What's that? <laughs> oh, Harkness was there. We had a big road shootout and fucking. Oh, that, yeah. Oh. Snagged up and, uh, I remember yeah, over uh, there. Robbed him. Bashed over him. Over there, old Ure came up, pulled his gun out. Get the fuck out of here. You stole my gun. And he's just losing it. And I'm like, calm down. Please calm mm -hmm. down. I was only a deputy there. And he's like, I will shoot everybody and. Blah, 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 and <laughs> it, it was great. That guy was yeah. Sick. I can't remember what we, how much we took off here. What, like $5,000 <laughs> worth of guns or something? Yep, and they're all custom ass of shit. Jeez, You're right. pissed off, so. Yep, I know. I mean, to be fair, we robbed Marcus quite a bit. <laughs> well, look, yeah, Marcus, I didn't care. There were different times back then. Very different. Yeah. So, uh, look, we've got two jurisdictions now. Which side are you thinking about going to? Honestly, wherever you want to put me. I do need people west. West is the... Uh, We're very low, light numbers in west. Now, I'd like to take a more subtle approach. You know, mm -hmm. I'd probably like to use my past as a bit of a... Oh, that's fine. We need that. Especially yeah. west. I think... It, hmm. Look, I think your past would help us greatly. Okay, I think your past can help the new generation of law. Yeah. 
think of different ways to catch criminals. Ways that, mm -hmm. you know, myself, Harkness and Mr. Hughes are unaware of. You've, you've lived through that and you've got the experience. I think it could come in handy. Yeah, it could. Well, maybe Actually, it. yeah. I what do you think, Mr. Hughes? I, don't know. I think even just, even if it's just entertaining stories of what the department's been through, it, it to inspire the, the youngins. <laughs> I can give you my side of accounts. Yeah. Surely. That's right. But it's, the, yeah. It's, it's, I would it's, say it's West exciting. at the moment. Yeah, West would be nice. To, it'd be great That's to have you. Very... And you can always ask to transfer later. Ah, beautiful. Hmm? Now, it's West where most of the big gangs are now. Had to learn to do things by the books. But... Mm. Shit. Look, you ever need anything, you can ask myself, Harper, excuse anyone in the department. Yeah, by the book and not always, but Look, don't worry that. I might not be. Parkness, I see you. I may be transferring to the Pinkertons, but like I said, you can still come and talk to me if you need anything. Mm. If anything, personally, I'd like to work closely with you, if anything. You know, being a man on the ground, getting mm -hmm. eyes, insight. Yep. Get, get your information. I don't think it'd be too hard. Ah, I think I'll look too bright, these criminals. <laughs> okay, okay. Look, well, I once got the Billy Boys and. Do what you um, feel is comfortable. Uh, I've heard rumors about them. Yeah. Look, do what, do what you feel is comfortable. You know. Ease yourself back in slowly. Clarence? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I ain't looking for any leadership position. I want to start from the ground up, if anything. And I... That's all good. I will have to train you. Absolutely. Those in the department, can you come over here when you're free, please? I'm going to, I'm going to introduce you. William Schaff, thank here. you for the... Thank you for the follow. Right. Howdy, partner! Hey, right, get in here. I'm not, we're not, not going to tell them anything else, just who you are. No. So you're a recruit, again? Yeah, he's a recruit. Or a deputy. No, uh... Will you make uh, deputy or recruit? Deputy. Yeah. Okay. So you'll uh -huh. we'll be a recruit rather than... So you'll be one. with Marcus for a few days then? So we'll Tell me, I'll grab the others. I don't think they heard you, Mr. Lou. Yep, yeah, I'll just bring that. I think I'll be down there as well. A private message at Telegrams. Or Telegrams where you hit this county. You got to call that thing the Telegram system. Does it tell you when you How get you it? How you doing, Mr. Hughes? Oh! been a hell of a night. See that? Oh, has he? Oh, My heart's wall. racing. How, how are you doing, Jeb? Watch out Oh, him. good. Except, um, had some... He's a newspaper guy and he's a real dickhead. Had some weird occurrences happening just before, I think, when just as you guys showed oh, yeah. up. Yeah, uh, yeah. Was it Tessa was spinning the guy around from the handcuffs? Uh, uh, the guy has fun. a name. <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, now yep. this gentleman to my left, this is uh, Mr. Hone. Hone Wick. Now, Hone was with us in the department a long time ago. Hone has returned. Okay, Hone is going back to recruit. So I want you to make him feel welcome. welcome. Okay, he knows his shit. Trust his judgment. He's not your average recruit. Okay. And uh, if he needs help, please help him. Okay. Yeah, goals. Yeah, be... yep. Appreciate the kind words, Lou. Yeah. Welcome, Mr. Honey. My name's Jebediah, but you can call me Jeb. All right, Jeb. Thank you. I'm also a recruit. All right, well, race Bitch. through the marshal, fella. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's find out what's going on with you, Jeb. What's that? Not upset, sure. You don't have to go down the. You have to go down with the trainee down there. Yeah. Let's but, get uh, promoted before it happens. I think we're all going to be going down for training. Yeah, all of us. Yeah, all of us. Doesn't matter what rank. That I will it doesn't, I know, but it doesn't help. I mean, it, it helps to have a bit of a refreshment. Yeah, it does. Yeah, very true. Otherwise, the, the bros pork. Yeah, that's right. I do believe Mr. Wolf does cook some great roast pork down there. Yeah, he does. Mm. He's always been good at that. Is he about at the moment? I don't know. Don't know where he is. 
Problem is, no one's seen him, but he's around. Tomorrow hmm. knows he's He'll be watching us. Yeah. I, I feel like me. I saw him the other day, but only briefly, like a yeah. fleet in the eyelid. Yeah, well. Where's that kind of hat Honor's wearing? Mr. Wolf is a strict teacher, but he's fair. Okay? Myself, Harkness, Mr. Hughes have been all. Uh, and even Mr. Honor have been all trained by him. By Mr. Wolf. Now, Mr. Wolf taught us gentlemen how to become the, uh, you know, the leaders of the department that we are today. And Ow. he will teach you everything that you need to know. All right. So when you see him, you treat him with mm -hmm. everybody, treat him with the utmost respect. And, uh, he will kick your ass. He will kick, exactly. He doesn't care who you are, he will kick your ass. Mm hmm. I back chat him, yeah, he won't last long. <laughs> oh, okay. Is yeah. he, uh, is he based out of Black Horner? No, he's going, I think he may be a lot further south. Oh, yeah, very south. Mm hmm. But, uh, when Mr. Wolf wants to turn up, you know, he'll turn up. Yeah, he will. Oh, beautiful. Telegrams too. I'm gonna to relish that reunion. I hope you fed it to them and you see it. Oh, yes. <laughs> so how have you guys all been? Yeah, good. Good. Yeah, right. It's not even like nothing. Quite literally, uh, nothing. Happened. No, it's been quiet. Right. Very yeah. quiet. I thought right. with so many um people around for that funeral, there would have been a lot going on. But yeah, we're quiet too. Yeah, look, it's, I think it's poor form to. Do something while funerals at. Yeah, very true. Any no bank robberies? There nothing. No. Huh? Nope. <laughs> Interesting. Funerals very. are the best time for it. What are you on about, Luke? What's that? <laughs> funerals will be the best time to do anything. Sure they are. True crime never stops, I guess. Yeah, and don't sleep yeah, for no one. <laughs> I'll take that literally with you, Luke. <laughs> uh, technically, funeral's the best way to get rid of someone. Well, yeah, well, no. I mean, technically, you are getting rid of someone. Uh, yeah, but I'd always get rid of people. Yeah. As I said, it was always a sheriff. Mm -hmm. Who died, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, a young lady named Brittany Blade. Yeah, she was a nice young lady. Was, mm. uh... Damn shame. Yeah, it's quite unfortunate. You remember, um... Oh, Freeman? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, he passed away. No way. Shit. Mm -hmm. What they're saying. Okay. Is that guy on the boat? And... You know how we all... We saw us on the boat. Trying to get mm -hmm. to the boat. That's yeah, that was interesting. One of the guys that killed him. Hmm. Mm -hmm. so Some old there. grievances coming through. Uh. Yeah. We're still gonna look for Squiz Taylor. Oh, oh I, I can beat that, that motherfucker. I can, I can honestly go. <laughs> you want Squiz? I'll go get Squiz. Uh, Bloody Squiz. Squiz is not the issue. Ah, Squiz is okay. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for Squiz for information. It's the other guy. Old Peg Leg McGee. Oh, yeah, so I already told you Squeeze what happened if he touches George or Lou. I'll pick up some info if you need. Yeah, yeah. Alright, oh. well, maybe we just get into patrols again. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Good idea. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, has the jurisdiction started? No, that's been delayed by a week or something. It's been Yeah, it's been delayed by another week. Yeah, uh, Sheriff Lee said it was delayed, but... Uh... Like, if we want to practice our area, I guess, mm -hmm. we can start practicing. Like, for example, this evening with our ride well, along. But it's quite be worth it. Yeah. Right, well, we were, well, like, uh, looking around the streets of St. Denis, like, learning the back streets and stuff like that. Yep. Yeah. Are you... Uh, Who's the ride along? Are you up at uh, Captain again, Mr. Hughes? Uh, no. All right, well, I guess Harkness is not seeing you here at the moment, yeah. so... That's who's sticking around. 
I'll probably be heading off soon myself. Oh, okay. Yeah, same. All good. We'll just patrol it and mm -hmm. split off. All right. George mm -hmm. and Jeb are going to bed soon. Yeah. I'll be uh, disappearing into the shadows. All good. Are you going to stay around, Hone, or are you going to Clarence? Uh, I, might, I might start working when I can catch Mr. Wolf. That's all good. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Just do it properly. You know. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. Stick around teaching these some there's, things about Saint Denise. There's gonna be an interesting conversation here. Oh, will be. Yeah. Uh, we'll, Mr. Wolf we'll on out. Woodman's a sheriff. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Woodman. Is he still fat and eating cake? Um, he's not fat to... anymore. He's still eating cake. Get, yeah. Getting in shape. Mm. Yeah. You'll be surprised. Um, Woodman's actually turned a new leaf. He's a good sheriff, actually. But he was a criminal, so. I don't believe it, but I'll trust you, Word. Yeah, I'm surprised. Like, we're all surprised, don't worry. He, he wasn't even a good criminal. The Parsi patrols in town on the street. The what? I remember arresting him in Mexico. Not Mexico, um, New Austin. How about he said the um, Javier, is it? The general? Could he could sell drugs down there? Perfectly fine. Mm. Actually, I might go off duty near. Well, he's Javier yeah, around too. Nah, I haven't seen him for a while. I saw it once. I hit him okay. with my shotgun. Alright, well, I'm heading out. Have a great evening, everyone. See you, man. Nice to meet you, Jim. Bye, Jim. You see, see you, Jim. Honey. Bye, see you, Jim. Everybody. Bye, Jim. Oh, like I said, tonight's been such a turn of events. Holy yeah. Shit. Oh, it's been. Goodness gracious. Are you about to uh, catch a train look? You to me? Alright, George. Yeah, I might, uh, I'll just uh, take a slow ride back to Valentine. Oh, good. And then, uh, yeah, I might retire for the night. Okay. I'll go with these. Four then. Three. Shit. Cut count tonight. All right, everybody. Stay safe. Thank you, Jim. Exciting times. Good to see you, Hone. And, uh, you're yeah, looking forward to more meetings. Yeah, Catching up with everybody. See you around. Oh. I'm going to go out the short way. How the fuck do you get over this? You gotta Shame. get it this way. Shame. 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 That is. Shame. You're walking Oh, now the compass is gone completely. Posse patrol, make yourself known. Uh, lawman George Hughes. <laughs> Are you training out, George? Uh, probably. Uh, don't let us hold you up. Uh, I know you need to wash your butt crack and whatnot. I'm fine. I'm just getting my direct, getting my bearings. We saw we were going to come over, and but then when we saw it was all the the law people, and um, I thought it looked important. I was trying to oh there's oh, you know, just working hard. Me, the, I missed uh, the boxing ring. Keeping the streets safe, time. you know, just you know, average night. This is good. Hope uh, it's good to see you alive. For now, I'll <laughs> yeah, go we'll see how the rest of the night goes. Damn. Okay. I'm, I'm here to get some wisdom. Hey, Prem. It was good, man. It was really funny. Oh my god. Look at this young love. Just wanted as that. That's okay. I just want to wear as the little arrow. Yeah, that's all it's, I want. I just want to. I don't want the full like map. You. I just want the little oh arrow god. thing oh, when I ride. That is all I want. Sorry, can you know, we right. blur you for <laughs> one more second? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I think now and... Yeah. Think. It was really funny, Prem. <laughs> it was really funny. Is Tim back? Oh, shit! A dead horse. Usually when there's a dead horse, Tim is back. Right, what do you need? <laughs> Alright, um, now, so, Hone, George runs the evidence locker. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, this Steiner has a few items from his past. Mm -hmm. Quite a few. And he's going to be putting them into the locker. Yep. Okay, I just thought I'd let you know that, you know, we'll, uh, we'll take him off him. He's obviously giving him up. He's had his past and... Oh, yeah, just pop him in the evidence yeah. locker and then when we get to him, they'll be melted down and gone forever. Mm -hmm. right. Just don't pop them in your mouth, George. They do strange things. Oh, no, no, don't worry. I, I wash my hands after I just take care of any of that stuff. <laughs> Some of that colored paper feather, they won't treat you well. That's better off duty. Oh, oh, thanks quiet, for the heads so up. But no, I, I just, uh, I just, uh, I just handle the scrapping of whatever's in there. I don't take it in or take note of it, really. So don't you worry. All good. Right. Well, yeah, I, mean, I just it, it is spread amongst a few different wagons and yeah. different storages. So uh, maybe oh, just have a another lawman with you. Yeah, where you doing? Some, it? Harkness. So Mr. Yeah. Honor's got some contraband from his. his oh, state. okay. Okay, he's offered to give it to the department. All good. Oh, okay. Pram, dude, uh, yeah. It, look, it's not like, up to me. I but, knew that you know, was the commander, but I was like, was well, thing. Hughes doesn't yeah, know for yeah. sure. And then he had a pe people no, come up being like, yo. It in a wagon somewhere. Yeah. Okay. That guy was like we wanting people to rough you up and good, like, so I was like, oh, we got to chase him down. And then the boat. Oh, dude, so funny. All right, perfect. That's what someone's letting you guys know about that. Thank you. Oh, fellas, you'll be safe. I'll see you soon. See you, mate. Have see you, soon. Good rest, George. See ya. Right. I honestly thought tonight was just going to be, uh, you know, law meeting, maybe a bit of patrolling, um, Brittany's funeral, and then, you know, some more patrolling or whatever. I did... That was really fun. That was very unexpected. I love... I love that... I love it when, um, like, how do I describe it? Like, you know, like, main plot lines happen out of the blue. Because we haven't really had any, um, continuation of the whole Guama situation for a while, while Hughes has just been getting back into law stuff, so it was really cool to see it pop up again. It's cool. It's like you don't know what's gonna be like oh god what do we what do we do you gotta, gotta just gotta just go with it and it's like well do we go out on a rowboat to try and catch the commander on his boat like fuck it let's just do it and then like getting shot and drowning in the water it's so funny <laughs> it's a right laugh <laughs> And like I know, I know as a as the player, I know stuff's planned because like donkeys alluded to it, and then like at the general slumber party, there were times where he was talking to Sam and that, and you know they make sure to talk about it away from me, and I could see Sam laugh like burst out laughing after hearing something. So I know, I know there's something, um, I know there's something planned. I know there's stuff planned. But it's it's exciting because like I have I have no idea what's what's planned. So like whenever this stuff comes up, I will just be reacting as best I can, trying to make it dramatic and funny. Um, and I yeah, it's exciting because you never know when it's gonna happen. It's cool. You're trying to shoot us with a cannon, but it fell in the water. Oh no! Yeah, Lou Hammer said that he saw a a cannon in the water. But dude, yeah, the boat, yeah, watch back the VOD, man. Like, the boat just kept moving. Like, every 10 seconds it would move in a direction. Um, even when I got on it, it was so, it was so scuffed. But that's what makes it so funny. Like, getting shot out of the canoe is great. And then I'm trying to get out of the water. With an NPC coming by in a canoe, like, please, slow down, let me get out. I'm part of the law department! He just keeps rolling past and then George is drowning in the water. <laughs> just because an NPC is like, doo, 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 doo. it's so funny. <laughs> so, 
Oh, good shit. So yeah, I'm gonna probably start winding down for bed. Got to get a good another good night's sleep because yeah, I worked two days in a row, Friday and Saturday at the local show, doing radio stuff, but it was on site, so I'm a bit still a bit buggered. So I'm gonna do that. But then tomorrow night I'm gonna play Sea of Thieves with Bard and a bunch of others. Um, if I don't stream my point of view, I'm, I think Bard might stream. Um, and then probably looking at. Tuesday or Wednesday night, I'll do. I'll jump on his Hughes again. Um, maybe to probably to do another evidence transfer and patrolling. I definitely can't do Thursday night because I've got uh, a 6 a.m. start at work. I'm covering breakfast, I'm covering the breakfast shift, so that the announcer can. Um, he's got to go back to Sydney to do some personal stuff, so I'll be covering Friday morning. And then I'd like to jump on as Valdemar like Friday night or sometime over the weekend. Because, yeah, I haven't been able to jump on as Valdemar. Because Valdemar is still reeling from the death of Richard Dome and that. So I think we're going to see Valdemar start to do some more illegal stuff. And maybe start to get a bit more aggressive. Because he's seen Richard Dome get killed and, like just let down by the law and the doctors so Valdemar will be feeling that but it's just hard because like yeah Hughes is my main character oh and so I just got to prioritize Hughes but then yeah I want to do Valdemar at least once a fortnight you all right Rose yep oh, sorry I didn't mean to bump you with my horse oh, good. you all right what are you doing sitting out here in the rain oh well, Harkness asked me to come back to Valentine to meet up with Tessa, and she had already gone, so I thought I would just stay here and wait for you guys. Oh, you've been waiting this whole time? Mm-hmm. I thought I smelt something. Oh. Oh, I just saw it. Yeah, Tess, uh, T Tessa's group came through roads at some time. We just happened to bump into them not too long ago. No, oh, fair enough. Is it so, as a, you're a recruit, right? Yeah. So I can't go on duty unless I've got someone of a higher rank around. Oh, hell. Okay. I didn't know that. I thought Tessa was going to be right here. No, nah, she wasn't. So I was just chilling. Okay. All right. I'm going to I'm gonna bring that up at the next meeting if it's not brought up already. Just to, oh, just to, 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 you know, uh, visually verify that recruits have been, you know, put in the charge of another senior officer. Rather than left in limbo, so to speak. Well, good. You heading out for the night? Yeah, I gotta catch up on some sleep. Fair enough. Well, you gotta have a good, have a good sleep. I'm just trying to think, cause I don't have any of their, I don't have any of their telegram IDs. Oh, hell. That's so good. Yeah, Neither we'll, do I. <laughs> we'll bring that up, Rose. We'll bring that up. I don't want. Yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry that happened to you. I don't want to. I don't want that to happen to anybody. Nah, no, all good. Okay. All right. All right. Well, you try and enjoy the rest of your night, and I'll see you again soon. No worries. Just see you later. I better check my letters before I go to bed. Oh, that's a shame. Aw. Oh, because I remember hearing Harkness do that. So, I, yeah, he saw that Tessa and that were there. But they must have just gone. Oh. Oh, that really sucks. Oh man, poor thing. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want. I don't want any law recruits to sort of be stuck like that. Oh. I didn't know. I was just so caught up chatting to Lou and hearing from Caldern and and all that about the commander. Well, it was there was some shock, but um I Oh god, but it's also like for me, because just so much has happened since then, it's hard I don't 
I don't remember dealing with Clarence Claymore, personally. I do not remember. Um... I just, I don't remember that. And, like, I've heard bits and pieces about, um, Wolf having connections to sort of find out what was happening with criminals. I remember hearing bits of that, so that wasn't a complete shock. I just, I don't remember dealing with Clarence. I remember, oh, who was, who was the cousin in, the other cousin in the law department that, that had a bit of an arc? What was their name? Um, I'm trying to remember. It was, um, I just can't, I think so. I remember them. I remember that character, but I don't remember Clarence in the department. Like, usually I have a really good memory, so, but maybe it's not as good as I, no. Okay, so that's all. That's was taken care of. So I can delete that, but no other messages. Okay, good. But no, I remember. I remember that. I remember that. Um, actually, I'll save. But no, it's good to see you, dude. Good to see you in game again, man. You going to you going to PAX again this year? Bringing over the the New Zealand devs to show off their games again. Yeah, man. Oh, I will see. I will see you there. I'll come say good day again. Hopefully, I have more time to actually try some of the games. <laughs> but I will be there. Um, uh, if I've got the time, I will be competing in the Megathon again for the fourth year in a row. Um, but there's some other stuff that may happen where I may not be able to. So we'll see. Oh, dude. Hey, I've come second three times. There's a very good chance it'll happen again. But but if I do do it again, if I come second in, like, I had some friends ask me, I've had a lot of friends ask, can I please do it one more time? And I was like, come on, guys. Like, I wanted to leave it at three. Like, three's a good number to leave it on. But they're like, please, one more. So I was like, okay. If I have the time, one more. So this year, if I come second again, that's it. That is it. Because like I've said, every year I do it, it it stops me from being available to help the generosity team. And it also gets in the way of me doing paid shifts, working at a booth, which I haven't done for years. Like literally, um, literally, I could all these years, and people are like, oh, you just you just go on the Omegathon again to come second just to get a free ticket. I don't need the Omegathon to go to get a free ticket again because I I could literally go to my bosses and be like, yo, do you have a booth or something or a support role you want me to do at PAX? And they're like, yep, done, locked in. There's there's your entry. Um, all every year I could have done that. Um, literally my first year at PAX in 2018, I worked at the I worked at the Nintendo booth. At one of the Nintendo booths. I can literally do that again. So I don't need the Omegathon to get a free free pass. So, I, yeah, very consistent, hey. <laughs> oh, I'm not on duty. But I will see you there, man. But that's great to hear a game's popping up. And again, if you ever hear through the grapevine that any of them are like, God, gee, I wish we had a voice a voice actor that could do... Up in views, rack key. Uh, a funny voice or do some creature noise or something, let me know. I'm, I'm up for anything. Ugh. No, not settings. <laughs> <Derp>. <laughs>